Feeling it. Ooh, here we go. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm digging it. I'm living it. I love it. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Man, I am so happy you're here. Stick Holiday here. Uh, here to uh, spend a a few hours with you, uh, watching some of the craziest things that I have managed to find over the past month. Uh, you may have noticed, uh, since my last stream, <clears throat> I have lost a little bit of weight. It's okay. You can uh, congratulate me. It's it's fine. Hey man, any updates on Jilly? Also, what you got to drink? Oh, what do I got to drink? Oh, oh my dude. Uh, updates on Jilly. You know what? We're gonna hear from from the lady herself. Uh, in just a little bit, actually, we've got some, uh, some fascinating stuff going on with Jilly. Masking tape does not stay very well. And I actually, in fact, uh, just applied my outfit. <laughs> like, I'm not even fucking around like three minutes ago. Okay. I didn't know what I wanted to wear today. So, okay. Okay. There, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a whole point behind this thing. So you remember how back when you were in school? And like, well, this thing looks so crooked. Here is a bit of cash for you to help insulate your garage so you won't melt. Thank you. Snowflake love for you and your family. Oh my God. Three. Thank you so much. Well, you remember how like when you were in school and like the art teacher was like, I want you to draw something or paint something. And you're like, uh, I guess I'll just do like a, a stick figure or something like that. That's, this is, this is the grown up green screen version of that. So, 
uh, be dazzled. I am uh, wearing a bodysuit and it is very warm. So I, uh, you might start seeing like phantom pit stains right here. Won't that be sexy? Wouldn't that be hot? Wouldn't that be great? Um, <laughs> uh, what am I drinking tonight? I'm drinking Moscow Mules. Mm, delicious Moscow Mules. Uh, for snacks, I have some delicious pretzels. I hope. What do you? What do you? What are you guys drinking tonight? Huh? What are you guys drinking tonight? And uh, where are you watching from? I'm kind of curious. Whew. At least the Moscow Mule is cold. That'll help keep me uh, keep me well, well cooled off. Not well hydrated, but that's a whole different problem altogether. Oh, uh, okay. I got a little bit of mail that I wanted to address to before we get going. <clears throat> so, uh, this is from uh, do, 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 Parallax Eclipse, and uh, he is the creative developer for Parallax Warfare. Uh, big fan of your channel and your work. Probably know me as Parallax Eclipse. Use the name I use and I super chat every now and then. In this package, I've included six, two sets, miniature warships, and corresponding data cards for a game I'm developing, as well as a pen. These ships are exclusive to you and have been custom model printed and painted. Be able to use these ships in game. Uh, I'm really stoked by this. This is super cool. It's the uh, <laughs> the Terran Fleet Hemlock Division. Uh, there's a, a Holiday Class Battle Cruiser, a Moon Wolf Class Destroyer. Uh, oh, okay, and then some enemies. And these are super cool. Uh, this guy is developing his own tabletop, like, miniatures uh, war game with spaceships and stuff. And he 3D printed out these super cool little ships. I haven't got a chance to play yet, but I'm going to try and convince Ian, my uh, my co-host, for our passion streams on Saturday to play with me. And that's really rad. Like, I love seeing you guys' art. I love when people send me art. But also, it's pretty cool. Like, this guy made uh, his own game, his own tabletop game. And he made some ships just for me. That's so cool. That's super cool. Let's see. Oh, we got people from all over the states. Canada. Some people over in the in Europe. Okay, cool. Brazil, Colombia. All right, cool. Hell yeah. I'm super stoked, man. This tape is not going to last very long. I'm going to tell you right now. It isn't going to last very long. No way. <laughs> no way. Neither am I. I'm going to melt like a fucking candle, dude. I'm going to melt like a candle. That's all there is to it. Um, do, do, do. Okay. So, first things first, we got a couple more things before we get into the to the wing nuts. Uh, I'm not going to dwell too much either because we have so many videos to go through. I found some really incredible things. Memory found some really incredible things. And you guys found some incredible things. Uh, for those who don't know, I do have a Twitch channel. Link is in the description. Uh, every end of the month-ish or so, uh, I start going live. And, uh, well, I go live all, all month, like, doing work and goofing off. But uh, people actively help me find some of these Wingnut videos that we watch. Uh, and if you'd like to participate, you can always do that. You can always join my Discord if you like. Um, but first and foremost, a little bit of shilling, number one. Uh, <clears throat> if you go over here to BrainForceSideEffects.com, you can go and get yourself an official holiday swag t-shirt. We've got, uh, we've got the Healing with Hemlock, we've got the Jeff Holiday Ring Nut Roundup, and, uh, cheese stored in the balls. Um, as well, if you're interested, you could always try out the Brave Browser. Uh, I do have a link for that, and, uh, if you get it, uh, I get free cryptocurrency. And it's like, it, it literally is just free-ass money that I randomly get. And it's not bad either. It's like 200 bucks a month sometimes. It's like, <laughs> that's fucking aces, dude. And if you're a YouTuber, you should look into that too. Or if you do like other types of content creation, like... My tape. My tape is falling off. No. Let's just fix that right like that. Okay. All right, good. Um, is there anything else? Let me think, let me think of me. Uh, I need a haircut. That's what else. Really need a haircut. Okay. I'm missing a leg. I fixed it. I fixed it. See, the other leg is over here. You see? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <clears throat> we gotta enjoy this for a second. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, shit. Wow. This worked way better than I thought it was going to. Wow. Cool. I'm really, really stoked. This is so funny. Okay, anyway. I had enough of that bullshit. <sighs> Happy Wingnut Day. It's a crazy, crazy Tuesday. Much love from my fam to yours. Yes. Hope everyone has a great fourth. If any of your shirts actually fit me, I would probably have already bought one. No, buddy. Love y'all, man. I love you too. H-I-V-A-M-B-U. Shivambu! I love Neo Gibby. He's a great guy. I wonder what this looks like. Oh. It, the green screen is still active on that one, too. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So. Where's my shit? Where's my shit? There's my shit. Okay, guys. Are you ready for some goddamn wing nuts? Or should we... Actually, we should probably catch up on this before we get a little too far. Yeah. We're going to have to catch up. Because <laughs> you guys are all already just rocking out. Uh, let's see. UW Huskies love your channel. I use your videos to rebut my anti-vax family members. They hate it, lol. Excellent. Say hi for me. Uh... Macy Caudill, so much sweet goodness this week. I get to catch the stream live due to unforeseen circumstances. And the hubby and I get to witness our best friends get married on Saturday. Mazel tov. Uh, the Earth Mother has blessed me. Love you and all you do, Daddy Jeff. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Damon Darwin. Hey, man. Any updates on Jilly? We'll get right Been to about that. five months since I tuned in. Glad oh. to be back. Yes. I'm glad you're back, too. Hell yeah. Um, Meeb says, hi, Jeff and Mems. I don't know if PayPal ate the other message I sent, but the roundup is an A-plus distraction from the existential crisis. I realize I'm going gray at 29 after my haircut last week. You know what's funny? Uh, I actually have, like, the kind of going gray that most men die for. Uh, I get blazes, like, on the side. But my hair's so thick, if I let it grow out on the side, I look like I have a fucking hair helmet. It's disgusting, so I always shave it. I don't know. It's a thing, man. But I feel you. I feel you, bro. Uh, or, or, or gal. Daft feel. Did you get drafted into the skeleton war? Have some oil money. It'll take a double shot of Jaeger for you right now. Here I go. Go do it. Uh, we'll get four more and we're going to just move on because we got to get to these videos, man. Randomness. Uh, hey Jeff, 20 days sober for me. Congratulations. So no drinking or smoking, but I'll still have fun. Hell yeah. Honestly, I had a real problem with both alcohol and weed. Now I'm not doing either. I have some extra dough to send you. Thank you. Thanks for your hard work. I live for today. I live for today and this time I get to spend with you guys. Lars Erickson, thank you. Parallax Eclipse, really glad the package got there all right. I was worried that it would get delayed by the pandemic. Glad you like it. I love it. And Minty Galactic Tea, finally made it on time for the roundup. Much love from me to you and your family. Good vibes all around. Let's do it. Thank you so much, everybody. <clears throat> okay. Are we ready? I still don't know anything about this video. I put it in the in the damn promo, and I don't understand what it what it is. Maybe you guys can help me. Shivam boo. Hi, my Hi. name is Tom Shayan. I'm an energy healer, psychic, tarot and angel card reader. Today, I bring you channeled message from Cosmic Emissary. Cosmic winds are blowing in your direction. They move what was old to bring change. Okay. Every one of you has the potential to be reborn with this wave of energy. Yeah. Dig deep down and find the parts of you which are not aligned with your core, heart and soul. Cosmic energies will activate them. When activated, those unaligned parts and patterns will start to attract to your life different situations and events. Even if those situations may be hard to handle and sometimes overwhelming and difficult, they are needed. See, I vibe with this video very, very much, right? I mean, it, it's it's uh, new agey advice, but obviously it's channeled from a higher planner entity, of course, right? Uh, and I feel like this higher planner entity really gets me. For instance, I uh, feel like I become more complete of a person, uh the more I am able to withstand the crazy wingnut videos that I watch. So if you think about it, in a way, not only I, but you, we're all growing from watching these disgusting piss videos and exorcism videos. I like that. <laughs> because of them, 
you will get the chance to see more clearly. You will understand what parts inside of you are not really yours. You will find negative patterns anchored in you from generations blocking you from being and expressing your true self. Cosmic energy will help you get rid of those negative schemes. Whenever you will feel confused or lost, meditate, trust your heart and your soul. Please know that no matter what happens, you are safe and you are okay. Times are tough and difficult for most human beings on the planet. Yeah. Please don't be afraid. The chaos which many of you feel right now is a result of friction between the old and the new. Yeah. Let it go and you will feel better. Don't hold on to things that are falling apart. Learn how to be flexible in the reality surrounding you as it will be shifting very rapidly. Yeah. In this period of change, <laughs> new ideas and views are already coming to your mind. Let them in. Don't be stuck on old points of view or values. Look at things from a different perspective. See the bigger picture. Ask yourself if how you see the world really reflects your heart and your soul. Listen to the whispers inside of you. It's the voice of your soul guiding you in a new direction. It's your inner voice showing you the new way of seeing and understanding things. You are so, I always think these kinds of things are really interesting. Um, <clears throat> so we live in an interesting world. That's interesting twice. Nope, three. Um, where self-help gurus are a huge, huge market. There are any number of people who are willing to take your money for regurgitating the same old kind of shit. But the weird part about it is, is that I've noticed something, and I'm kind of with one of the reasons why I wanted to watch this is I kind of want to like, I kind of want to put this idea in your head. Not that I'm trying to like program you or anything, but I want to see if you feel the same way. So if you do, please by all means let me know in the comments down below once this becomes a video. If you've noticed from watching some of the videos that I do, if it seems like that kind of that kind of advice comes from like an extra planner enti entity or like aliens or some shit, it seems a lot less spooky and manipulative than when it's just like some human guru. Just I'm kind of curious about it because I, I it just I have I haven't developed the theory yet, but I kind of feel like there's a grand unified theory of wing nuts, and it's it's like the more insane and like multi-dimensional the wingnut uh the less harmful they are that's just my theory so far i could be way off but we're developing this in real time <laughs> anyway uh yeah that one was very quick i really gotta like i gotta get a little bit better of a setup for where my f uh, mouse is supposed to be um <clears throat> all right here we go Ryan Holes have seven bucks in Swedish after the Google discount. Greets from Stockholm. I'm a coder at Arrowhead Game Studios. Oh, dude, sick. I've been working from home since March. Your roundups keep me slightly less insane. Awesome, dude. Emotionally mimetic psychopath. Uh, this is my first time watching the roundup live. I can't wait to see what you got up your sleeve this time. We're... Okay. I was very careful this time when I programmed the roundup. To make it a marathon, like we're not just jumping right off into the crazy. We're we're gonna we're gonna ramp our way into it this time, uh, until hopefully you feel like you're on a nightmare ride. Um, <laughs> Emmy Val, hi Jeff, gonna do some art while watching. Don't forget to show Frog, you piece of sleep. Have a great stream, everyone. I will try and get Frog out here at some point. Um, Steven just got off work and excited to catch the roundup live, drinking some local Utah beer and Moscow mules, saying the much love to you and the lovely Mems. Moscow Mules as well. Uh, Heather, hi Jeff, long time no see. Glad to, glad to catch you during my last two hours of work. At least I can enjoy it with you. I'm glad you're here. Lemming, Jeff, you're missing a leg. I know. Fire Serum 2095. Hello, the roundup is on my birthday. Happy birthday. What's your name again? Firestorm 2095. Happy birthday. Everybody say hi to, to Firestorm 2095, will ya? Dread Wolf Gamer, hey Jeff, got an idea of a gift, but first I must know what D&D character do you see yourself as? I'm a bard. I want to be cool and be like, I'm a barbarian. I'm a paladin fighting nobly against the forces of evil. Or, you know, like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a clever thief. Schnickety schnick. But no, no, I'm, I'm a fucking bard, dude. Whatever. Uh, and one more, Ginger Pocky. 
First time catching you live, but I'm at work, so I'll have to watch later. Just want to say, love you, Jeff. Keep doing what you do and rock on. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rare, a rare treat. There's a rare treat when wingnuts fight each other. So let's, let's watch. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. You're amazing. The roundups are always hilarious, and I often put your vids on in the background while I write music. Thanks for being you and all that you do. Love you. Today, burn this thing. This virus hates heat. You just burn this thing. Burn, burn. <laughs> Strangely, his prediction has come true. I, I just I was laughing so hard when I thought about it. I was like, I was like, what in the world? It actually came true. Look at that face. He's a trustworthy person, folks. I'm telling you. <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm don't trust this guy for anything. I just just I thought it very interesting that his prediction actually happened. That's what's so hilarious about it. I think it's just a weird happenstance. That all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you have thousands of people in like 150 cities uh, out marching and taking things from stores and all that kind of stuff, right? And for some strange reason, that somehow was the solution to the strain. It yeah, no longer get his exists, ass. Apparently, get his ass. God rules. We can thank Kenneth here. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just thought it was really hilarious that it actually happened. This guy has the worst doctrine in the world, so don't trust him. I'm telling you, just no. Okay, he's no good, but it's just absolutely hilarious that he made this his little declaration here for the end of it, the end of the strain, and it actually happened. It actually ended. <laughs> Something else, though, came about. It was even just not as good, not good either, obviously. Uh, probably because this whole thing is just to, to, you know, get into our heads and see what they can make us think and do all that kind of stuff, of course. Yeah. But I wanted to start it off with, I guess, sort of a good note. I don't know what you want to call this. I just thought it was kind of funny, you know, <laughs> of course, uh, this guy's pretty funny. He's, he was covering this, this minister as well. Kenneth. Hey, can we get a fucking big old shout out to, to Leon motherfucking Lush? God, I love that dude. He's fucking great. Here, but you know, actually, Kenneth here was saying so many things. He wanted to rush out and get one of these right away. He was, he was, he was calling it down. But of course, instead, we got something else instead. We got people taking out windows, oh. getting into stores and taking things. And that somehow miraculously solve this whole strain and we don't have it anymore it just doesn't it's gone <sighs> you know <laughs> and actually there's a weird video i showed uh yesterday where a bunch of people are literally doing this and reciting some weird thing i i, I don't know just go check out my last video i cover that but um i don't know you know i mean looking at this guy uh he's so trustworthy i mean so full. Yo, Kenneth Copeland actually looks like he looks like a, an animated wax sculpture. He really does. Like he doesn't look fucking human. This dude doesn't look human at all. If, if ever there was like a demon made flesh, it's fucking Kenneth Copeland. Okay, the dude's had so much work. Oh my god. Full of love. You can just see it in his eyes. How you know old is I mean? Kenneth Copeland, wow. chat? <laughs> At any rate, getting onto some other stuff here. He, of course, has a new prediction, folks. We should take heed of it because he was right about the last one. <laughs> now, actually, he wasn't, but uh, strangely, it somehow came true anyways. But 
He's now saying the Giants are coming. Now, he's saying it's the Giants of Faith, but I'm kind of oh. thinking it might be another kind of giant. Oh. <laughs> okay? The ones that are not very nice. I don't know. The, the, uh, the, the, sort of as in the days of old. The you know what I mean? Kind of uh, something from uh, you know the good old book there, folks. Well, okay, okay. So historically speaking, for those who don't know, uh, there were, in fact, giants in the Bible. Well, sort of. Uh, very complicated, uh, but it commonly accepted to be uh, the Nephilim, uh, which were the unholy spawn between angels and women, earth women. Um, that's not what ribs work like. These aren't. These are my ribs. See, they're right here. These are my ribs. That's what ribs look like. I've seen a skeleton before. Come on. Of course, it was in a very strange video. But yeah, I'm thinking some actual other kinds of giants are eventually going to come and they're not going to be get out of here kenneth copeland is 83 years old are you kidding me dude i hope god rules puts another picture of him up there that's crazy dude of faith okay they're not going to have a faith they're going to be like you know not giving you anything good that's let's just put it that way all right oh no now, not good things interestingly <laughs> there's a there's a, a person here on this website youtube her name's Mikia. Mikia? How do you say this? Stoffer? I don't even know how to say her name. Mikia Stoffer. I'm assuming I'm saying that correctly. All right. She apparently uh, adopted a special needs, all right, okay. son. And then was getting a lot of, you know, she was getting a lot of traction, I guess you would say, on her videos because of it and got all the support and a lot of money came in I, I think it was millions if I recall correctly yeah and then she had this son for three years three years and then gave him up and they call it rehome I don't know whatever what whatever that is supposed to mean they gave him up, and now they made another video that got lots of views, but it was sort of like not exactly uh, people liking it. They're thinking maybe the, maybe this Makia here simply took uh, adopted for making money potentially. Well, yeah, of course, no shit. Of course, she fucking did. What the? What does have to, What does this have to do with Kenneth Copeland? Damn it! Damn it! Go back to bashing Kenneth Copeland. Okay, hang on. So we got we we have just for frame of reference since we're all like talking about him and shit. Kenneth Copeland, this goddamn guy, eighty three years old, eighty three years old. And you know what's great too is when uh, he's been asked, Kenneth, how do you look so good? The power of the Lord. No, no, Kenneth, no. We know better than that, dude. We know better. Um, but yeah, no, that, uh, that, that lady, she did, uh, she got, I guess it was a special needs orphan, adopted a special needs orphan. And then when it was too hard, uh, and wasn't enough for the profit that she was making off of her YouTube videos with it, uh, gave it back. Well, oof, oof, big oofs guys, big oofs, big oofs. All right. <laughs> God damn. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't even remember where we were at. Motherfuck. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Fragile Corpse says, just want to say thank you for what you do. Had an ear infection in late 2017 and tried following home remedies. Ended up in the hospital for three days because of the immense pain and the fact that it was spreading to my brain. Keep doing what you're doing. Man. Ugh. Buddy. That's one of the reasons why I do what I do. That kind of shit happens all the time. Chaotic's kitten. And you, here's the thing, too. If you yourself or one of your loved ones ends up being uh, the victim of pseudoscience nonsense and you end up getting hurt, it's very natural to feel like a dummy. You don't really have to because the whole thing about it is these people do what they do specifically to deceive you. They, you, you don't need to feel bad for it. Like these people intentionally lied to you. That's their whole point. Chaotic Kitten. Love you, Jeff. This is my first winged at Roundup Live. Wondered what you were drinking in the thumbnail. Uh, please give Frog lots of hugs and headbutts for me. I was actually drinking some Salmiaki uh, that somebody sent me like two years ago. 
that I've never finished because salmiaki is very hard to drink. <laughs> I'm finished. I should love it, but I, I'm sorry, my, my Finn family, but it's so hard. Uh, K the Punk Queer, first time watching live. You're amazing. Oh, yeah, we saw it. We re listened to that one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, cabin in the Woods, I've grabbed a sticker up. I'm going to add it to my tactical horse implement. Should add plus 100 damage and plus 50 intimidation. Excellent. Alexandra Lorelli. Lorelei? Uh, my sixth roundup. Thanks for all you do. Though all life's changes, it's nice to always have this through all life's changes. I agree. You guys are my rock. You guys keep me stable. Don't I look stable right now? Lemming with the 666. Jeff, you're still missing a leg, which normally only happens when it's really fucking cold. True. Uh, Dizzy. Love you, Jeff. You're definitely a barbarian. I don't know about that. I don't know about all that. <clears throat> Road Raptor. Hey, Jeff, what diet you want? The results be amazing. Uh, it's the, uh, the whiskey and hot pocket. Actually, I don't eat hot pockets. Um, what the fuck do I eat all the time? It's the, it's the, it's the whiskey and greasy breakfast diet. <laughs> I like to live. I'm sorry. Um, uh, Asuka La Coffee. Hey, Jeff, happy to catch you live. My geckos are enjoying the roundup with me. Chilling out after moving house. Your matchstick man looks hilarious. I'm glad you like it. Uh, and one more before we gotta get keep we gotta keep going. Lay, Lee W. Oh, it's Lee. Hey Jeff, wanted to wish everyone a great roundup. Grandma and I can't stay long. We're making manicotti for hey dinner. Hey Jeff, hand waving. Always look forward to your videos. You are a breath of fresh air in the sanity within the shitstorm that is the world. Keep doing you. Your voice is strong. Mwah. Sign of the horn's heart. Yes, Miss Perk. Thank you so much. Um, very very kind of you. I appreciate it. Uh, Grandma and I can't stay long. We're making manicotti for dinner, but we will watch tomorrow. Also, you can wish Grandma a late happy birthday. It'll thrill her. Grandma, happy birthday. Guys, Lee's, Lee and her grandma have been with us quite a while. Can we get a happy birthday, Grandma? Can we do that, please? I'd appreciate it. Because <clears throat> she's a sweetie. And she deserves it. My nipples are curling. Or, I mean, my ribs. That's what they are, my ribs. All right, guys, you, you wanted her right from the very beginning. You wanted her. You got her. Let's do it. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. So I'm really doing some research on the Nephilim <laughs> and the efficacy or efficacy. The, the, I told you. The accuracy around the Nephilim. I told you. I cracked this I, whole know, thing. I doing like a, a reading, talk to text type thing on my Word document here. And... <laughs> This thing really stood out to me. A race of giants implies a hereditary element, and the origin of some names may indicate the genetic pathway involved. The Hebrew word anak may mean necklace, Proverbs 1 9, or possibly a goiter. Obviously. This could suggest hyperthyroidism, possibly due to an underlying pituitary gland a goiter? Wait, or other endocrine what? dysfunctions. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I, I don't want to, like, back up this quickly, but, like, what'd you just say? Proverbs 1-9, or possibly a goiter. This... What goiter? Wait, what? And the origin of some names may indicate the genetic pathway involved. The Hebrew word anak may mean necklace. Proverbs 1-9, or possibly a goiter. So it could either mean a necklace or a goiter. There are, um, there's a, there's a big difference between a necklace and a goiter, Jillian. This could suggest hyperthyroidism, possibly due to an underlying pituitary gland or other endocrine dysfunctions. Oh. All right. And then Goliath, the, Gitti, the Gittite, is the well-known giant in the Bible. He's described as a champion out of the camp of the Philistines. The way you can see your spine curving because your dad bod isn't killing me. Good. Because if it was, that would be that would be phobic of something. <laughs> look, I look at all this weight I lost. Come on, man. Come on, man. His height was six cubits and a span and a span from Samuel and Chronicle. We have drawn Goliath's pedigree, a literal interpretation of the verse suggests that his brother and three sons were also of a giant stature. This name of Goliath's third son does not appear in the Bible. So we have named him Exact Dactylus, as it was said he had on every six on every hand six fingers, on every foot six toes. 
Goliath's family tree is suggestive of hereditary autosomal dominant pituitary genes such as the AIP. Okay, so remember, now, also in this PubMed, it says that, uh, for example, the Nephilim 13-32-33 appeared to be present before and, before and after the flood. The Emites, the Ammonites, or the Ankites, and the Rephaim, Deuteronomy 2.10-11, existed after the flood and appeared to be separate entities, although the chronicler often uses the phrases like, suggesting they had a similar phenotype. The Anakim seem to be, be derived from the Nephilim. I don't know what she's reading. Hang on a second. Like... Uh, what is this supposed to be? What in the fuck is... Th the Nephilim are not the fallen ones. They are no different than those who died from cancer. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping ahead too much. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I hope Jillian's going to explain what the fuck she's talking about. The Rephaim, although similar to the Nephilim, appear to be distinct from them with every respect to the family line lineage. Deuteronomy 221 states that Rephaim were largely subdued by the Ammonites, which dwelt in their stead. One of the most prominent Rephaim was Og, king of Bashan, who slept in a bedstead of iron. Nine cubits was the length of four cubits, the breadth of it. So he appeared to be the, one of the last survivors of the Rephaim. A race of giants implies a hereditary element. Okay, so here's the thing about the Nephilim. They appeared before the flood and after the flood, which means that there was definitely a change in the atmosphere. Some of the giants couldn't survive, couldn't adapt to the new environment, and some were trying. Schoolhouse Rock has a song about a six-finger and six-toed person. They sure do. Excuse me. Polydactylism. Mm. There's quite a few different reasons for polydactylism. Infamously, well, not infamously. Well, kind of infamously because it was in a small town. Um, my great grand uncle had 14 toes. It's true. 14 goddamn toes. Just weird. Super weird. Okay, so uh, the uh, I have uh, real quick because I only got to the point where I realized that Jillian was talking about the Nephilim. And I was like, okay, okay, guys, this has got to be in the in the roundup, <clears throat> the wound up. I'm wound up. So I'm gonna make a prediction. Uh, she's going to try. Uh, I, I, she doesn't actually know that the Nephilim are supposed to be bred from angels and humans. That they're just giants. I, I have a feeling that she doesn't actually know that one quintessential part that's very important to understanding like the the biblical historical accounting of the Nephilim. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Trying to adapt and so they have these underlying pituitary gland issues. Or the body was trying to adapt. See, this is where the perspective of the holistic allopathic is if you don't fit if your body is not adapting to this atmosphere and you have these issues they say there's something wrong with you. Yes, there's something wrong with you, but not because uh, the giants were something wrong with them. It's the fact they couldn't adapt to this environment. Or that they were the unholy spawn of angels and mortal women. I mean, that could be it. I mean, that's what the Bible says. So maybe if they were to Jeju's back then, <laughs> they wouldn't have those goiter goiters. And then, you know, and so the their race back then could have survived because we do see still see some giants here today what the fuck <laughs> is jillian trying to say that the reason why there are no more giants there are no more nephilim uh is because they all had goiters because they didn't drink enough jilly juice holy shit what the fuck what is it what it what does that even mean? I don't understand what that means. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I mean, I have friends. I'm friends with some of the six point nine, six nine, six foot nine. Okay. My husband's best friend is six six foot nine. He's a giant. Okay. But he, but but that's not very. You know, I mean, there are people out there that are very very tall, but not like giants, like the giants of like uh, Goliath. But when they say that um, the, the Hebrew word anak means necklace, 
or possible goiter. Well, that race of giant was trying to adapt to an environment that it had trouble adapting to. Okay. Because I'm sure they still ate the same things they ate, but the environment changed. You know, but, when you're still doing the same thing, expecting a different result, and the environment changes, then your body's going to try to adapt. And if you have diagnosable diseases, you have hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, you have all these different diseases, cancers, and whatever, then that's the body trying to adapt, and you're not giving it what it needs. So then PubMed is going to diagnose them with these type of diseases. So that's why humans have evolved down to this diminutive stature, because... We have learned how to adapt to our environment. And some, you know, and so some, there are people out there that still take on the characteristics of the giants of the past. And, but they don't live very long because uh, they can't adapt to this environment. So they have, they're fraught with disease. Why are they fraught with disease? Because they have not given, they're not increasing the oxygen levels in their body. They're probably not taking in the salt <laughs> or the probiotics. The, you know, I mean, the fact that they're able to live for 30 something years, if they are, really are a gigantic stature, says that they're able to adapt at a certain point, and then the body starts degrading unless they were to really rise to the level of the environment with their predispositions, with all their issues, and then those issues don't become issues anymore because now they have uh. given their body what it needs and they can still maintain their genetic line and still adapt to this environment, even at 21% oxygen levels uh. with a lower pressure. See, that's why you have to understand with how medical and holistic uh, publications are. You have to understand their perspective. None of that makes any sense. Okay, so there, anyone that, that is None different of- out there, anyone that's different, that uh, that isn't like the mainstream, they will diagnose them with a disease, yes, because they're trying to adapt. I don't understand. So when you have people with, with Down syndrome, with people with with, with autism, what? people who are a gigantic stature and they have goiters no. and pituitary issues, um, oh, on, anyone God. that has cancer disease and chronic illness, whatever, whatever, either accepted or or the really the the the, the, the non accepted social problems and and physical problems and issues, it's the body still trying to adapt. I'm so glad we finally circled back around to this. Um, that was a, a hallmark. Uh, did you like that? And I was just uh, reborn yet again from the the void of the uh, outside of space time pocket that my head got sucked into from cringing so hard. Um, look, uh, so I I, I, I caught up uh, my my thoughts of Jillian into like years. So there's like year one Jillian, and that was like the first book, the first time like I was looking into her. Year two was like the rise of uh, her Facebook group, her second book, that kind of thing. We're finally getting back to year two Jillian, which is like rock star Jillian, where listen. All those things out there, all those dysfunctions, all those like, you know, uh, Down syndrome, autism, like it's all coming back to uh, dysfunction and you just need the J-juice to fix it. And I'm excited because if she gets just a little bit spicier, a little bit spicier, I bet I can convince the Dr. Phil people to give us uh, give us another shot. <laughs> I don't know if she'd go and do it. I hope she would because I could uh, I could use a free trip to L.A. again. That'd be fucking great. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Anyway, enough, Jillian. I told you, it's fun today. We got a lot of fun stuff to do today. Uh, We're definitely not going to spend that much time on most of these. Road Raptor also found the OP of the Chemtrail Cowboy song. I think that you sent that to me. I want to think that you sent that to me uh, earlier in the month. But yeah, it was pretty amazing. Uh, Scatulucky, Scatulucky, all strapped in for the nightmarish ride. Nice pirate around up in the background while I'm cleaning perfection. Magma, today I officially got my diploma. Congratulations, Magma. Everybody, congratulations to Magma. I officially got my diploma despite never thinking I'd be alive to get to college, but I'm here thriving during the 5G pandemic Mm. and watching my third wingnut roundup live. Things are good and I'm happy to be watching. I'm happy you're watching too, my friend. Heather. Someone from Burner Group tried to get me to try it. Ooh. Rosie Rush. Hey, have you checked out about the use of LRADs and what's going on in city and groups of people voicing their opinion? 
I have, uh, for those of you who are interested, I'm not actively encouraging it. I do have a second channel that I renamed The Liberal Gun Nut, where I am getting a little bit into politics, but I'm not putting effort into it because my first and foremost um, focus in life is fighting pseudoscience. It's just where I go and I rant. So by all means, if you'd like to, you can go you can go find me over there, and I'm, uh, I'm starting to talk about some of that stuff a little bit. Uh, sick wolf tats. Oh, God, Jeff, what happened to all your skin? I sold it. You'd be surprised how much skin is worth. Foxy Kit Vixen, you're such a fucking dork. Love you, man. <laughs> I love you, too. Randomness. Kenneth Copeland reminds me of the preacher from the Backwater Gospel. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's not a roundup-type video, but it honestly holds up even though it is pretty old now. Mrs. Perk. Hey, Jeff. Always look forward to your videos. Oh, we read that one. Oh, thank you very much again, Miss Perk. Meeb. Could we get a video on Norwex and their whole mess at some point? My mom stopped using cleaning products because of their lies about how the cloths disinfect and sterilize despite my research. My brother being immunocompromised and the whole COVID-19. Um, so I don't know anything about Norwex, but here's the thing. If you guys have a hot tip or something that you think would be very good to research, uh, please, by all means, uh, drop it into suggestions for Jeff in my Discord or hop on Discord and send me a DM get a hold of me through Twitter, but don't follow my Twitter because my Twitter is not a nice place. Um, that kind of thing. And I, I, I will do my damnedest as soon, as soon as the Cal Jam video is done, as soon as that's done, which was almost done, almost done this weekend in time for the roundup. It was almost done. Uh, but <laughs> uh, let's do a few more. Um, communist iguana finally caught the slide. Do you think Jilly Juice uh, helps counter tear gas? Probably. Don Marie, I'm at work and can't watch live. Love to you and your family. Thank you. Randomness, Schoolhouse Rock. Yep, we saw that one. Dion Beaumont, love the roundup making my girlfriend watch with me. Hello, girlfriend. How are you? Uh, Mira Baelish, Jill is gaining weight. I don't think she's drinking her juice recently, at least as much as she says she is. Anyway, love to you and stick Jeff. Or love to you, stick Jeff. We'll do one more, then we gotta move. Uh, Becky Hill. Hey, Skella Jeff. Hope you're well. Much love from the UK. Hope this helps with armor for the skeleton war. P.S. Show Frog. I will get Frog in a little bit. All right. <clears throat> right now is the point where I'm going to just piss everybody off real quick. <laughs> I'm going to piss you guys off just for a little bit. I promise it's not going to be very long, but there's a section here that I think we need to go through because we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it because, uh, Ignoring it ain't going to make it go away. But uh, much like how with every tragedy, there tends to be people who want to make a little bit of a buck off of it. And we're just going to examine a couple of them. We're not going to spend a lot of time on them either because, honestly, the roundup is for us to have fun. But, you know, we should probably be aware of this stuff real quick. And then we'll get back to fun. Say, say hi. Say welcome to the Welcome to Align with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course, your favorite psychic medium. I am able to go beyond the veil of life and death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much. Now, I'm going to do this tell my story of George Floyd. The video just recently went viral. <laughs> now, I will say that none of the reports have been confirmed nor denied. So when I do connect with him, I will be connecting with his spirit to see if there's anything he would like to say more so connecting with his ancestors to see if there's anything that they would like to say. I want to warn you that my content can be very real and very true, so enter at your own risk. Very real so and very true. Are you and sure about that? He is ready to connect. Um, George actually is here, and he's talking about a mistake. He's saying that something happened where they were mistakenly um, doing something when he got pulled over. So what he is referencing is that that he had actually, he's mentioning that something about he was leaving a store or headed to a grocery store. We're going to need more vodka for this. Area or, um, um, something about shopping as it relates to him um, trying to complete um, some shopping or heading to a particular area. It sounds like um, what I'm hearing from his ancestors is that he was actually leaving the area where it could be a lot of shops around the area or he could have been shopping in the area. And 
So I, I wanted to I wanted to first and foremost this is not the one that we're gonna be looking at a little bit longer. Uh but keep in mind this this is a fifteen minute long video, okay? <clears throat> and this lady goes on to communicate with Mr. Mr. Floyd. Now, the reason why I found this is because I saw, randomly, uh, in a Facebook group, uh, somebody talking about, hey, <clears throat> did you see this video of this psychic, uh, this medium channeling George Floyd? And I was like, that is fucked up. Uh, no, so I'm going to go find it. So I went to YouTube, and I encourage you all, if you have the ability to do it right now, go ahead and do it right now. Open another tab. Don't close this one down, obviously, because, I mean, a but go ahead right now, open up another tab for YouTube, and type in medium channeling George Floyd, or psychic channeling George Floyd, or any of those kinds of combinations, and then Marvel! First live roundup, so glad I could catch it. Just remember, Jeff, don't listen to the shadows whispers, they're all lies. They are all lies, the shadows always lie. Um... <laughs> Thank you so much, Jay Rainstorm. I appreciate you. But yes, please, by all means, go and see how many there are. You will have your soul crushed. Let's check another one. Oh, here we go. Uh, George Floyd's psychic perspective. Let's talk. Oh, okay. Let's talk. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to oh. be a uh, um, really important reading. I've been getting so many requests to speak on, beh on behalf of... George, um, George um, Floyd. Mm, uh, we George all know. Floyd. We all saw the video, and I, I've been pr crying for George Floyd and also Ahmad. You know that just is you've just been crying at, like to just you know to see all this and what's that woman in New York with the dog? Her name is um, Cooper. Oh, the, is that the, Amber the, the, Cooper? the, the other person that died. Oh man, the stupid woman in New York. You know that even made it worse for me. But I, oh, the lady with I'm the gonna fucking dog not try checking. to cry. I don't want to cry. Don't I've cry been for days. Then, don't. You know, I'm furious. I'm angry. And I, guys, can we just take a moment? Can can guys? Can we just take a moment to to accept and and really appreciate? Guys, can we please do this? Can we listen? <clears throat> listen. This lady back here is very upset. She's very upset, and she's been crying for days, okay? I need you all to understand that this woman is very emotional, and she is very upset, and you need to feel a lot of empathy and sadness for her having her feelings hurt, okay? She's been crying, everybody. She's been crying. So if, you, if you've got any mean words for this person who's about to have a psychic connection uh, to George Floyd, uh, then, then you got to keep in mind... She, she, look at that fucking face. <laughs> she, she's been crying, fellas, okay? She's been crying. Listen. Shit. <clears throat> do I have a, oh, I do. Oh, I do. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. That's good. Hang on. Uh, let's do this. <clears throat> Guys, this woman has been crying. Okay? She's been crying. She's been crying for days. Okay? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway. Fucking Jesus Christ. Let's go. Just to pray for, you know, not just for George... Floyd and Ahmad, but for all the victims of course. that have witnessed in you know discrimination or just like I said, um, I, I can't name all the victims, but for everyone, <laughs> everyone that has fallen, you know, under you know something that was very unjust. I can't or, name all. Listen, you know, any, uh, <laughs> sorry, that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count for those playing that game at home. Uh, okay, seriously, guys, though, she can't be expected to remember all the names at once. But she'll eventually get to psychically connecting to all of them, I'm sure, in the future. Okay? All right? Just just calm down. Slow down. Okay? She'll get to him eventually. She's brave. Anything like that. I just don't <laughs> want to go. So, you know, me talking about, you know, this, it's, it's not going to 
help anyone. You know, all I want is justice for Ahmad and for everyone, for everyone, for, you know, our condolences, saying sorry to the families. That's not going to do anything. We have to change as, you know, our, as, the, as a race. We all have to come together. It, okay, we, that's enough bullshit. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough dumb shit. All right. <clears throat> Let's get away from there. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, but, you know, I hope you understand, like, why I wanted to bring that up. Like, I, I really, really do encourage you. If you want to see some fucked up shit, go ahead and, and Google that. Uh, again, once once the Cal Jam video is all done and in the bag and released, I uh, thoroughly intend to... Uh, I thoroughly intend to do a video uh, about the mediums and channelers who are contacting Mr. Floyd. Um, <clears throat> we'll see what form that's going to take. It might be uh, might be a me being really angry. It might be a Hemlock Moon Wolf. We'll see. You know, just depends. Um, okay. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and catch up because we're really, really good. We're, we're actually pretty good at catching up right now. Uh, and I want to make sure we don't drift too far. Bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Mad Evil Genius. Hey, Jeff, just found your stream, and I'm on my way to my entrance exam to train as a nurse. And as usual, the roundup is helping me with my nerves a lot and makes me feel like I can pass this exam. You can, Mad Evil Genius. You know why? Because I believe in you. You're clever. You're smart. And gosh darn it, people like you. Chaotic Kitten, thanks to the naturopath I consulted in 2010, I became obsessed with a strict diet to get rid of the systematic candida in my body. Jesus Christ. Wow. I was told to eat food without wheat, sugar, corn, dairy, and all preservatives. I developed an eating disorder and lost weight. Maybe that's what I should do. Wait, no, that's wrong. I'm sorry. I should shut the fuck up about that. <clears throat> I'm not self-conscious, and that's not why I'm wearing a green screen and tape. Okay? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Pyretta, we're finally starting to pack for the big move. I'm excited. I'm excited. Fiber Zombie, I have arrived. What did I miss? What are we drinking? We're drinking Moscow Mules right now. I accidentally made mine a little too strong because Jillian made me mad. Was it Jillian or was it the uh, George Floyd people when I was pouring that vodka? That's a lot of vodka. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Queen of the Creed, you're obviously vaccine injured Jeff. Let me pop your skeleton. It'll cure literally everything. Love you, Daddy Jeff. Love you. Uh, Jay Rainstorm, first live roundup. So glad I could catch it. Just remember, Jeff, don't listen to the shadows. Yep, we got that. Two more. Ian Jones, I'm surprised Jay Station hasn't already done a Ouija board video where he contacts the spirit of George Floyd. Maybe some things are even too far from Jay, for Jay Station. I, I don't know. And Aspen, I think I felt my soul shrivel from those psychic mediums. Also, my sister is watching with me for the first time and enjoying. Heart from us both. Hello, Aspen and Aspen sister. Um, so I had this one. But I'm like, uh, mm, mm, mm. you know what? Fuck. Before we before we go on. Let's just, uh, let's just do, nah, fuck it, we'll watch this thing. Let's just watch it. Fuck it. Here, let me put back Siobhan Boo. Okay, here we go. Bam! This thing is so dumb. What's up, YouTube? It's Young Men's Daily Red Pill. Back yep. to another video. Thank you guys for my support on my last video with the whole censorship thing. YouTube's just being little pussies. But anyways, guys, today's video, we're going to be talking about social media. So the reason why I decided ultimately that I, that I did want to play this, uh, <clears throat> we need some Chad energy. Not real Chad. Not alpha Chad energy. That's me. I'm, I'm alpha Chad energy, okay? This is what it... This is what peak masculinity looks like. Gah, you might not you might not like it but it's true Gah. okay um but fake chat energy uh i couldn't find any good detox dude videos or mason your face videos so uh instead we're going to be watching uh <coughs> young men's daily red pill and he's gonna he's gonna give us that uh that false chat energy all right media a lot of you guys watched my video where I had the female subscriber share the social media secrets and the different ways that women can hide different things on social media that you might not be able to necessarily catch because they're hidden within applications or they just use social media in a way to mask and hide their true nature and hide the ways that they keep in contact 
with former relationships, uh -oh. previous hookups, uh -oh. the guy down the street, the guy at work. She basically shared the majority of ways that women tend to hide and use social media. So if you wanna check out that video, click on the card up on the screen. But today's video is gonna piggyback on that concept. Of I don't recommend you go watch that video. It's probably a pile of shit, just like this one is. Social media, because I did have three comments that I wanted to read to you guys and answer some of the questions that were in there, as well as address some of the things that I've noticed has been a trend in the comment section on that video. A lot of guys okay. had some pretty suspect things to say. Mm -hmm. It sounded like they were beta or they were battling with that internal struggle of finding a woman that doesn't use social media because we live in such a social media prevalent generation where it seems like every female has social media and you don't necessarily. Uh, everybody, everybody has social media, everybody. Like it's, it's it, like it's kind of weird to be like, I've noticed that some ladies like to breathe oxygen, you know? They like to breathe oxygen, kind of like how we breathe oxygen, you know? It's kind of weird, you know? Maybe find yourself a lady who doesn't breathe oxygen. really want to limit all your options because you feel like all women have social media, so who am I going to settle with? I'm just going to dive in and read these comments and give you guys my perspective and what I would tell these guys. So here are some of the comments. We'll check them out right now. So initials LH says, no, don't break up with her if she's on those apps. Every single girl is on those apps. It's only a problem when she won't let you look through her phone when you want to. If you cut her off for this, then you're not going to have a girl for a long, long time. Now, I'm not sure how old this guy is, this kid is, but... <laughs> the shoe left the armored one. It comes in threes. Beware. Uh, I should probably explain that a, a little bit very quickly for people. Um, I share in some ways a lot of my a lot of my audience doesn't really know that side of YouTube but uh, just recently two very large uh, youtubers by the name of Armored Skeptic and Shawn Hedden both of which are friends of mine um, split up after being together for many years um, I do know them very well uh, I do speak with them privately uh, they're both doing okay there is no big drama or anything like that uh, and my heart goes out to both of them I love them both and I wish them the best that's all. And as far as like things happening in three, I mean, fuck, dude, nuclear war couldn't drive me and memory apart. Come on, man. All right. Anyway, the reason why we're watching this, I'm, I want to get to like the la what this guy's actually trying to say. OK. The way he just worded that doesn't make any sense. Now, the issue with this viewer's comment oh. is basically he's saying it's OK if she has these social media apps, even though she's in a long term relationship with you. But if she hesitates when you ask to look through her phone, then that's when you should break things off, or that's when there's a real issue. And I completely disagree with that. Like I discussed in that video that he commented on, there's ways that she can hide these things from her boyfriend or significant other, and he would have no idea where these secret apps are, who she's keeping in contact with, because it's all in a secret vault that looks like an app in the phone. I okay. <clears throat> so the whole basic idea behind this video why your woman, quote unquote, shouldn't have social media. She either complies or you say goodbye. All right, listen. <clears throat> if you're going to take your advice from uh, a man who looks like he's missing half a chromosome and uh, the lower half of his face is one giant hairy testicle, that's your own fucking problem. This dude is is numpty a bad word is numpty actually like a troublesome word i don't i don't actually know but it, like i look at him and that's the word that comes to mind what does numpty mean anyway numpty what does numpty mean a stupid or ineffectual person yeah he's a numpty this fucking guy is a goddamn numpty what the fuck this is look <clears throat> all right this is uh Oh, I don't need the Shivambu all the way. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, this is not the pinnacle of intelligence right here. Okay. And this is definitely not somebody that you need to be trying to aspire, uh, to, to, to become or try and listen to his fucking advice. Okay. This guy's a goddamn idiot. Fellers, fellers, I gotta be honest with you. If you're in a position where you're going to get into a relationship with somebody else and you feel compelled to go through their phone or their social media, you should Loving not be dating. You. Just joshing. Oh, I know. It's all good, Elijah Miller. It's all good. I'm happy that you, you sent me that, that super chat. It means I can send some love to my friends.
you know, it's all good, buddy. But honestly, if you're the kind of person who's like, I need to be able to have access to your social media at all, even like casually, you are not emotionally developed to the point where you should be in a fucking relationship. I'm sorry. And if you have this like pos this position on the person that you're with that you need to be able to so you can trust them, that's a problem with you, guys and girls. Trust trust begins with trust. Trust doesn't begin with having to like I look. And if you're with somebody who has given you reason to distrust you, like look you're going to have to find your own reasons to overcome that between the two of you. But if you're getting into a new relationship and you're automatically going to be like this goddamn numpty and be like, well, you can't have any social media or I have to be able to look at all your social media. He you have no complaining business dating. about women on social media, but he is on YouTube, which is a social media platform. Uh huh. Is he an idiot? No, no, no. He's a misogynist, an actual, like, legit misogynist, not just, like, a stupid casual fucking misogynist or, or, like, everything's misogyny. No, like, legit, real, diehard, 100% fucking misogynist. Why? Because he doesn't believe that women are equal. Simple as that. He can have social media. Ladies, you cannot. Aren't you all just going to line up to fucking date this dumbass? I can't. Ah, Fuck. If only I had a womb so he could impregnate me. Ah, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, enough of that. <laughs> anyway, Memory found that, and she wanted me to yell about it, so I did. There you go. I love you, wife. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, guys, trust is really important. Trust is really fucking important. It's probably the most important fucking thing. And, uh, you know, you have to take responsibility to have your own degree of trust before you even enter into a relationship with somebody, okay? It's not easy, but life isn't easy, so whatever. The original spaz, I was doing the dishes when the first psychic mentioned George Floyd. I'm lucky I was washing a metal pan because I dropped it. Love from mine to yours. Love to you. Cale uh, Montalios. God damn it, this is some J-Station doo-doo. So disgusted when people do this doo-doo. Why must you anger me so, Hefe? I was having fun before this lol. Hopefully the spirits tell him to get a job. Agreed. Rotsoy. Rotsoy says, Woke up from a nap and remembered the roundup. First words out of my mouth when I tune in is, Where the fuck? What the fuck, Jeff? Stick Jeff caught me off guard, but I'm more caught off guard by the fact that I was even surprised. I love you, Jeff and Mems. We love you. Lee says, you look like the skeletons of the 1963 Jason and the Argonauts. Check it out. I'd say, I love, I love old school Jason and the Argonauts, old school Clash of the Titans, Beastmaster, that kind of shit. That, why don't we have, why don't we have movies like that anymore? Like we try. They're just not, they're not the same. They're not the same, you know? Nick Warner. Hey, Jeff brought my girlfriend to the roundup today. Hello, girlfriend. Uh, Daryl Staples. Hello. Fiber Zombie. What brand of vodka? Cheap. Bro, super cheap. Also, wife, will you pull another bottle of vodka out of the uh, the freezer of the booze the booze fridge? I have a fridge just for booze. I'm not joking. Uh, Elijah Miller, the shoe left the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we got that. Uh, one more. Brainwash says love for you and fam. You know. Thank you so much, Brainwash. Or as I like to call you, brown shoes. All right. <clears throat> I actually had two nofap uh, videos, but I had to cut them down. We're only going to do one, one, one nofap video. What's up, guys? How we doing? Got a question for you. Okay. What kind of energy are you walking around with during your day-to-day? -day? What kind of energy do you have? Are you excited? Are you lethargic? I'm okay. Are you confused? Are you depressed? Are you bored all the time? A little horny, a uh, little gassy. Look around next time you walk around and you'll see that a lot of people are pretty low energy that's rum don't have a lot of juice don't have a lot of life in the freezer in there's them. a little and thing. you could chalk it up to a lot of things but one thing in particular that i want to talk about is the energy that you have when doing no fat yeah that that I mean, cum energy <laughs> if you think Sorry. about it I'm sorry. Not to get all metaphysical, but guys, your semen inside of you yeah, yeah. is what creates life. What about when it's, it's outside of me? It's creates life, what is combined with an egg. Yes. So you essentially have 
50 to 70 percent of whatever it takes to create life. Wait, 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 what? In your body. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean 50 to 70 percent? I mean, like, well, obviously, genetics, uh, you know, some genetics are going to come from the daddy. Some are going to come from the, the mommy. Hi. Stick figure daddy. Stick figure daddy. You like it? <laughs> Don't I look thin? <laughs> Don't I look so thin? It's very svelte. You know what we should do? What should we do? I need to get myself a matching one, and we can do one of those stupid, like, you know those dances that they have in for like we can, Christmas time where we, they have you dress like an elf? Are uh, the dan the the like the look like, uh, in Christmas time the little things where you like you take a picture of your face and then it makes the elves dance with yeah, the fucking faces. So we'll do that and it'll just be you and me and we'll actually do it. <laughs> we could do that actually. That's not that that I mean we could motion capture with the with like these green these green suits and shit and like just like put little little things on them to track and and premiere. It's funnier doing this. Yeah, everyone's doing the like the glow stick. Sure. Figure, sure. We have green screen, so. True. True. Any more ginger ale? No, I got I've got a bunch of bottles in there. Actually, you could always bring me an extra one if you want to. Do you need a kiss from my wife? Do I need a kiss from my wife? Yes, I do. Mwah. All right. Much better. Ginger. Thank you. She's the best. Memory holiday, everybody. Memory holiday. What were we talking about? I don't know. And what most people do, this is common practice in the United States, is before you go to bed, you log into the hub. The hub? And you get rid of that energy in a really creepy and... Porn hub. Weird way. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what, 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 wait, whoa, 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 Look. Just because every night before I go to bed, I look, first of all, I don't use Pornhub. Go ahead. I use X videos because you can download them a lot easier, too. Uh, I, I then bind half my body with electrical tape and slather my whole lower torso in Crisco. That doesn't mean it's weird, okay? And how dare you actually, like... He does that. <laughs> I had plausible deniability before, but... I do do that to myself. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know where I was going with that now. God damn it. Whatever. And then everybody walks around and like, this is normal. This is normal. This is how we do it. It is normal. Um, Monkeys do it. I just don't really think it is normal. Um, <laughs> let me okay. tell you a little bit about how I feel. Oh, go ahead. I want to know how you feel. I feel great. Good. I have a lot of energy. I mean, today I got a bunch of stuff done. <laughs> I'm not here to try to tell you, well, this is the ultimate hack. Da, 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 da. I have a ton of great energy that I don't have. Good for fapping. you. Good That's why I hate it. You. That's why I think it's stupid. Because it's not effective. It doesn't help you get stuff done. It makes you less charismatic. But when you do do no fap and you stay on track, you're just... Your smiles, your there's a brightness in your eye. Last weekend, I was actually out at a bar, and a girl was like, "See that twinkle in your eye?" <clears throat> That's cum. <laughs> there's just something about your eyes. Okay, maybe I have nice eyes or whatever, but also like you can tell, I'm not faking this. I didn't put like eye brightener on. This is just my eyes right now because I'm Fuck. on no fab. Um. For those of you that want cold, hard facts, I actually have a video coming out in a couple weeks. Um, we're going to talk about all the science that I can find out there on it. All the science Good. that I know personally on it. Um, on NoFap. But what I want you guys to do is please experience it for yourself. Uh, experience that awesome, charismatic energy. No. That can really be yours. Nah. As long as you're disciplined. Nah, I'm good. As long as you have the strength and the self-control no. to do it. Self-control and I aren't really guys, good friends. You're struggling with that. Nah. This is literally what I do. This is my job. <clears throat> I help people figure that part of themselves out so they can just always have that awesome godlike energy. You know, I have plenty of godlike energy, okay? Uh, <clears throat> I believe in the law of equivalent exchange. So for all of these, uh, these, these young lads, uh, 
staving off their ejaculates, uh, I believe that I have to pick up the pace. And so I'm a, at a perpetual uh, stage of cum fountain. Hi, Grandma. Um, <laughs> as I have Zeus-like ejaculations. Um, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying anymore. Uh, but yeah, dude, I love NoFap. NoFap is great. These guys are always so interesting. I mean, look, the, but here's the th- I'll joke about it, you know, but... If, fellas, if you get power out of just not spanking it, that's cool. You, you, you keep not spanking it. I believe in you. I keep, I keep looking at my, my stick figure self and I'm I'm laughing way too fucking hard, dude. All right. What are we doing? Let's see. Checking to see where we're... Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, my God. That's one of the things that I love about doing the Roundup, man, is, like, I'll I'll, I'll set the whole... I'll, I'll program, like, the whole show, but then I'll, cer- I'll get to, like, certain points, and I'm like, I don't remember what the fuck we're going to do next, and then I'll see, and I get really happy because it's really ridiculous. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, oh, cool. All right. Foxy Kit Vixen says, Masculin- Masculinity is so fragile and APP can shatter it. Lol, what the fuck? Ava Musich, first time catching the round of live. Much love from Austria. Oh, hello. Um... Nora Wild here to do art again. Any suggestions? Hemlock. I always like Hemlock Art Art Wolf. Hemlock Art Wolf. I always dig that. That's always good. Elizabeth Horde. Dang it, Jeff, that zoom in and you saying come has to be the moment when my sister leans over to look at the screen. Hi sis. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Um, I don't make a habit of talking about come, but it might happen again. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Kelsey Grube, my husband and I are celebrating our fourth wedding anniversary to- today. That is incredible. Happy anniversary. Can we get some happy anniversaries, please? We watch you all the time and just wanted to say you're amazing and we love you. I love you guys, too. I hope you guys enjoy, uh, Cal Jam and where we go once we're done with that, because we're going places. It may seem kind of stagnant at the moment. That's just because I'm working furiously behind the scenes. Dog Sigma, does nofap also mean no sex? Serious question. Um, No. <clears throat> there are actually different schools of thought when it comes to no fap. Some people believe that you should not even tempt yourself uh, by having sex. Some be some believe that sex is fine as long as you don't ejaculate, or if you only ejaculate in very specific, uh, important circumstances, uh, very tantrically minded kind of stuff. You know. All right. <clears throat> And here we go. Here we go. I'm really happy we're watching this video. This video makes me so happy. Let's go. Shibambu! If you are solely relying on the crystals, you are giving your power away. Oh. Let's go, Anna Wood. Let's go, Anna Wood. I love her so much. Hey, Love Beam. Hey, Love Beam. I am Anna Wood, and I help you activate your powers and remember who you really are. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about crystals. I love crystals. It's me the too. Pleiadian in me. Crystals are very, very magical and crystals are like little souls. That's how I want you to think about them. Like beings, the beings that they are. They love to be held. They love to be cherished and really treated as the souls that they are. So be, they're, they're, I, I could be a crystal. You know, why not? I. Every crystal has its own special vibration. So when you're picking- Me too. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We should, we should just watch this. Out crystals, of course you wanna go to a crystal shop that um, you know, has a high vibration and ethically sources their crystals. But I like to just walk what? in wait, wait, and- Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. And look, hey, no bully Anna Wood. She is, she is, uh, uh, she seems to be super, super sweet and super weird. Um, 
<laughs> what is? <laughs> I guess, okay. I guess what 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 I should be asking is not what is ethically sourced crystals. What I should be asking instead is what is non ethically sourced crystals look like. That's what I'm. That's what I'm like really curious about. Like, like on the, like on the on the deck of a of a of a of a cutter, right? Of a big big ship, as a man. Wearing a trench coat, he's got a big, big mustache. He's like, nah, nah, we're going to penetrate the cave and we're going to steal all the crystals. Nah! And like the crystals are the sole power source or like food for an ancient race of, uh, I don't know, like lemmings, not actual lemmings, like the creature lemmings, but lemmings like in the video game lemmings. They look like little, like, like Gelflings, right? Like Gelflings from fucking Dark Crystal or something. And so, like, this mustachioed supervillain and his, his rowdy band of pirates, they then uh, go and steal all of the power crystals from the, uh... Can I get a shout-out from one Jeff to another for my birthday last week? What? Enjoying some Blanton single-barrel bourbon. <sighs> Only the best for the roundup. Oh, my God. Blanton is so good. Blanton is so good. Hey... From one Jeff to another, happy birthday, Jeff. I hope it was awesome. I'm glad you're here for the roundup, buddy. I'm glad you're here. What was I talking about? I don't remember. And see what crystals I'm drawn to. And it never ceases to amaze me how the crystals that I'll walk right up to, I'll read the description, and it's just perfect for me in that moment right then. Sure. And then pay attention not only to what you're drawn to, but which crystal within the bunch you're drawn to that's for a reason that's the one that's calling you that's a match for you right now so you get to trust yourself on that which is super fun and cool good advice and as for working with crystals you know there are so many powerful ways to work with crystals and crystals are very powerful they carry very high vibrations they come from the earth but i also want you to know that crystals are a tool you love beam you are the powerful one so yes the crystal alone is powerful and you know you can have crystals in your home and and that, that will serve you you can wear crystals that will serve you but it serves you so much more when coupled with your own intention again you are the powerful one so when you look at it this way that a crystal really is a tool it's a tool it's a permission slip sometimes as well to couple with your own intention and really make that command to the quantum field. Oh. All of these things are tools. You know, sage is a tool. Yes, sage. I once demanded to the quantum field as well. <clears throat> I felt that there wasn't really enough resp uh <laughs> Nope. Sage will clear the energy in the room, but when you couple it with your own intention, it is so much more powerful. Fell right out of my yes, head. Yes, plant medicine is very powerful, but when you nope. couple it with your intention, it is so much more powerful, right? You are the powerful one. Oh. So when you're working with crystals, make sure you are using your own power and not solely relying on the crystals. In fact, if you are solely relying on the crystals, you are giving your power away. So some ways I like to work with crystals. You know, I'll speak to them. I'll charge them up. I'll ask them for things. I'll ask them questions. Okay, so I know, like, usually when we're watching Wee Nuts, they're, like, they're, they're shitty people. I love Anna Wood so much. She seems like such a... She's such a... She's such a nice person. She cares about the feelings of rocks, okay? Like, she... She whispers <laughs> inspirational things to her, her crystals. That's so cute. That's so sweet. Come on, man. You can't get mad at this lady. She's so she's so sweet. And she has Im amazing teeth. Fuck, I'm jealous of her teeth. Just a little bit longer, and then we're going to move on. I'll ask them to heal my body. I will place them on my chest while I sleep. I'll cuddle with them while I sleep. You can, I'll put them in different parts of my home, at the door and at the entrance. And I'll ask the universe, you know, charge these up. Turn them on. There's a lot of, there's a lot of rhetoric out there about charging your crystals under the moon, which... I'm skeptical of, and I'm gonna make a video for you guys on the moon and why I'm I'm skeptical of this. You know, cool. the moon may be artificial. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments. So let's get into a few crystals. That no, I... let's not. Let's not. What the fuck? I don't know if my dad's watching live right now, but dad, you're gonna have to call me back some other time, okay? <clears throat> a little busy. 
Uh, okay. Let's switch back over here. I love Anna Wood. I don't think anybody should bully Anna Wood. She's so sweet. She's such a kind person. I don't think she's selling anything either, is she? Hang on, let me look. Join the Ascension Arena here. Mm, I think she's selling a book. Yeah, I think she's just selling a book. That's fine. Whatever. I have a book. Whatever. Whatever. No, I think she's fine. I don't think she's that bad. Could be worse. That's for fucking sure, right? <clears throat> All right. Anyway, let's get to the streamlabs real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll get on. Keep on moving. Keep on grooving. I am in a really damn good mood today, guys. I am feeling it. I am feeling it. I hope you're feeling it too. All right. Uh, Tina Cother just wanted to throw some money at Stick Figure Jeff. I'm 100% into it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Heather Moss had a hard day at work and coming in to see Stickman Jeff has made it way better. I'm glad. I need to like position this better because you can't see me when I'm like, my eyes are going. I'm getting old. I'm an old stick man. <clears throat> Macy Caudill, I think she means crystals not sourced through child labor. I mean, that'd be great. That'd be cool. I just, the way she said it is a little, it's a little silly. Metal Dooley, have you seen that Mike Adams from Natural News is pro-mask and has called out Alex Jones for being anti-mask? I did see that. I thought that was interesting. His reasons for being pro-mask are still complete bullshit, but who would have thought a wingnut like Adams might actually be kind of helping? I'll, I'll take whatever help we can get, man. Pyretta, now I have to bathe the dog, pray for me. But I don't pray that much, oddly enough. I may look like somebody who prays a bunch, but... Oddly enough, I don't. <laughs> Simon Graham. Hey, Jeff, first time viewer of the live stream. Love from the UK. Can you help me convince my girlfriend to let me get a freezer for my alcohols? Yeah. Look. <clears throat> Fellas, ladies, whoever is trying to convince their significant other that you also need a booze mini fridge. Um, the best way to convince them is to uh, take the amount of alcohol that you have and then set it to the side and then instead bring home groceries of tasty food that they really like and be like, look at how much room I can have for groceries you love if I just have a very special place to put this. So you can't, you gotta, you gotta first show how they benefit. That's the, that's the goal for any relationship, my dude. All right. Oh, this one's fun. <laughs> Let's go. Guys. Hello, Holistic Elf Harry. Let me uh, show you again. It's my aged urine with tensile rings at the bottom and the top. They've gone a little green because I spilled some age on it. It leaches out. It pulls out. So uh, just so we, we understand, because I, I, I did have to watch this a couple of times to understand what's happening right here. Um, <clears throat> that is uh, Harry's uh, old pee in a spray bottle. And he's got copper around it and under it and the copper is turning a little green because it got a little bit of pee pee in there just you know just so we know but they still age the urine amazing in that plastic bowl for of age urine massaging of my face and body it's amazing so we want to talk about that and mm, to go over something like a video i made recently about hydration and structured water Okay. And the fact that everyone is dehydrated in the world, or the masses are dehydrated because it's not about the amount of water you drink, guys. It's about how structured your water is. If your water is dead, comes from a tap water, it's not received sunlight, magnetism, movement, and good intentions and good words in it, and it's dead. What it means is it, it's, it's not negatively charged, it's got no electricity, it's got no magnetism, and it's also too big. So when that water goes in to your system, it's... Um, first of all, not smooth flowing and stodgy, but also it doesn't get into the cells because it's too big. So that This man has no functional understanding of chemistry at all. Big water. Big water. Mm. <clears throat> See, guys, the problem is when you're so thirsty, it's not because like you're not drinking enough water. Your water is too big. It's big water. What you need is that small petite water and that kind of water comes from pee pee therefore any dead water that we drink affects cellular hydration 
and the water can't even get into the cells to detoxify. And, it, and to detoxify and to give the, the cells, to clean the cells out, detoxify, and also to give it energy and run sure. ATP motor, they can't get in. But what aged urine does, however you get it into your system, and massaging it through the skin is a very special way. Yes. Because remember, your skin has blood um, at the surface of one tenth of a millimeter to it. I just want us to look. You know what? <clears throat> Can we sit down for a second? Let's just sit down for a second. I just want to point out that um, <clears throat> Harry uh, uses this chemical sprayer that looks very, very clean. Very clean. Uh, to age and uh, spiritually charge his pee pee. I'm supposed to read that. I'm supposed to say, I'm so happy to catch you live again. And I was going to be like, are you sure? Uh, thank you for everything you do. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I don't know why I didn't read that. That's weird. Um, uh, yeah, this this very, very hygienic bottle. And he supercharges it. He sprays it on his skin. And then he massa massages it into his skin. Okay. Now, you're lucky because uh, as is custom, we're not going to be looking at anybody putting pee on their body or in their body. Uh, at, in the middle of the roundup. And we're right in the middle, so... You know, so massaging it definitely gets into your bloodstream and beyond and deeper into the organs of the body as soon as you start massaging in whatever place. Localized systemic medicine, right? So as soon as you get that, what you're, what you're doing is you're getting uber super structured water, Gerald Pollock's four phase. We figured out the mechanism, guys, for aged urine. So the four phase of water becomes so structured and maintained, I believe, by the alkalinity. But what I do know is it gets super structured. Uber, so super structured. structured. And what that means is that it properly hydrates you and it starts creating the uber super structured as the asian gets more and more structured it starts becoming smaller and smaller and it starts forming into, into micro clusters you know that four phase of water between um a solid and a liquid liquid crystalline basically basically listen this dude's done a lot of drugs i can tell because i've done a lot of drugs this dude smoked way too much dmt while thinking about pp and he just like dreamed all this shit up. That like, you know, the longer you let your your urine, your pee pee, uh, sit in this disgusting little chemical spray bottle that you would use otherwise to try and kill some weeds, it becomes tinier and tinier and more complex and super structured. And then you just spray it on your skin and rub it in, and it makes you like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it's supposed. To, what is this supposed to do? I don't know. I still can't figure it out, man. I can't figure it out. I don't get it. Microwater. He's gone beyond pee pee. Super thick pee pee. I think it's supposed to be super tiny pee pee. Your urine is so structured right now, you have no idea? Dude, I wish my urine was structured. I've been trying all sorts of stuff exercises, dieting, fucking stretching and shit. My urine will just not get super structured. I keep trying. Yeah, liquid crystalline. And this liquid crystalline becomes very small and very fine, extremely negatively charged, very fine, very micro pores and micro clusters. And that means is, what it means in essence, this is why I want to make this video, is aged urine is oops, super structured water and that means it goes deep into the cells. There's, it's so tiny and micro clustered that it goes deep within the cells and it detoxifies straight away, it gives the cell oxygen, it runs the ATP, gets into the mitochondria which are in the cells and the, the ATP motor and it's complete cellular hydration. Aged urine is complete cellular hydration. That's why when we drink a little bit of it, even a couple of weeks old, you get high when you do like a, just a swab on your face quickly. It's a high, um, because it's cleansing, it's getting where it needs to go. It's getting deep into the cells, aged urine. And the more structured your water is, the more structured your water is. I should, I should be structuring that out there with this. I would have done that, I just come in. Oh, let me do that, it's the sunlight, right? So that distilled water syrup here is getting structured by sunlight. It's got a magnet underneath. Magnetic water coaster, so I'm doubling up on its power. Very powerful. The more structure the water gets, the more smaller and negative you charge. Wait, 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 hang on, hey, what? Oh, fuck, okay, all right. No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tap out on this one. Uh, look, so apparently, he takes his Brita water filter, he takes the tap water, he filters it with the Brita, and then he sticks it on a magnet out in the sunlight, so that sunlight can, 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 oh, fuck. And I guess he drinks it. And then he pees it into this spray bottle, and he lets it age and get fermented, like, real stinky, stinky pee-pee. I mean, superstructure pee-pee, or whatever. And then, ugh, fuck, whatever. 
All I, look, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is that if you if you really want to understand like the real fan, fundamentals of, of physics, you know, like uh, <clears throat> oh fuck, god damn it, this gag doesn't work if it's all fucking zoomed all the way. This is your guy. This is your guy right here. This is your guy, Harry. Good old Harry. All right. Anyway, fuck that joke up, motherfucker. <clears throat> anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Simon Graham, Jeff, first time viewer. Nope, 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 nope. Read that one. Uh, Danielle Reza, dear Jeff, I always look forward to the roundup, and as magical as always. Last roundup, I asked you for some encouraging words from my mom. If you remember, your words made me cry from happiness. I do remember. I remember very much. And I'm, uh, I hope they helped. I hope they helped. Ella says, I'm so happy I caught you live again. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you again, Ella. BC Brant says, my pee is so structured when I go to the bathroom, it's like a goddamn Minecraft. Good joke. I love Minecraft. I love Minecraft. Jeff, you made me break out my wine. Good. Everybody break out your wine. If you have wine, break it out. If you don't have wine, break out your liquor. If you don't have liquor, break out your uh, beer, your cider, your weed. Get out your weed bongs. Do all the weeds. Do we do do all the things as long as they're safe. They're safe and they're legal. Yeah? And we'll have a good time. Transition screen looks like P Wave. It does. And do you know what? That's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hey. Uh, just want to put my wife on notice, too, by the way. After we do this next one, uh, I'm going to need to use the restroom, so you're going to have to take over for me. After this next video, I want to do this video with everybody, as is tradition. Okay. So, guys, <clears throat> as is the Wingnut Roundup tradition, uh, we here are about to watch a video by Motivational Doc. Hello, this is Dr. Mandel. But here's the deal. You got to do it with me because I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, we're doing it. And we're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're doing it live. We're doing it right now. Okay. I'm going to do it and you're going to do it. And we're all going to do it together. And for some reason, one of you people out there watching live doesn't do it with me. This whole stream will stop. The Shivambu Nephilim uh, NoFap forces in the quantum realm will be able to determine... The whole stream will shut down, so you got to do it with us. It is time. Whoa. Turn that down a little bit. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Dr. Mandel here. Yeah. My mission today is to help the men become more handsome and the women to become Impossible. more Impossible. By helping to contour... Slim down and reshape your nose. There are many wow. muscles within our facial nasal region, and we must address those muscles because, like any other muscle within the body, if we don't use it, we lose it. Right. So I am going to review with you some great exercises that you can start doing right away to help reshape, contour, and slim down that beautiful nose of yours. So into this. Now this first exercise will remind you what you did when you were a child. Just trying to wiggle your nose. Like flaring your nose out like this. What I didn't when I was a child. How do you know about that? How do you know about that? Were you in my room? Is there a tape? Oh, fuck. That's not a funny joke. And what I want you to do is I want you to keep wiggling your nose back and forth. And you as you do so, you'll feel muscles along the bridge or on the septum region start to get a little tired and achy. Spend about 30 seconds and just wiggle your nose and you'll be amazed how these muscles start to fatigue. This next exercise is going to help sculpture and reshape your nose. <clears throat> Let's do it. We'll take either index finger, the tip of the finger, We'll push it underneath the bottom of our nasal region, right here. Don't make fun of okay, my nasal right here hair. Right our nostrils. And as you push up, I want your mouth to make a big O. And as you make that big O, the nose wants to go down. But what I want you to do is push up slightly against resistance every time you make an O, like this. Push up, relax. As you make the O, the nose wants to come down, but push up you doing against it? the resistance. You doing it, chat? O, push up, relax. O, push up, relax. 
you'll do 15 repetitions of those. Base. Now this next exercise will help the septum around the bridge of the nose. Right, right, Take right. your thumbs, <clears throat> put it underneath the nostrils. I want you to shut the nostrils off with your thumbs. Okay. And as you breathe in hard, watch my nose up here. And relax. These muscles are working with the vacuum pressure. Watch again. And relax. So as you breathe in, you can hold it there as long as you like. Three seconds, four seconds. And while, <coughs> while doing so, you're going to feel this whole area start to contract. Watch again. Relax. Watch again. You'll do 15 repetitions of those. Fuck you! Now this last exercise is excellent. This is going to help reshape the upper part of the nose, the bridge, as well as the surrounding muscles in the upper cheek. These muscles all around the cheek communicate in the nasal area. So what we're gonna do is we're going to raise our cheekbones, which is gonna bring our nasal area up higher. How Watch. are you gonna raise do this. bones? Go back down, do this, like you're crunching your eyes. <laughs> now put your fingers on there. You feel how the nasal muscles, along with the cheek muscles, come up. What the fuck, dude? Now you're gonna take your fingers, okay. making sure uh, again, that your facial area is free of oil and it's dry because right. we don't want our fingers to slip. Right, right, right. We're going to take our fingertips, put it on the upper part of our nose, on the upper bridge area, pushing yeah, yeah, yeah. inwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit on the facial area on both sides. Right oh here. my God, what okay. the fuck is that? But Everything as we like lift our way. cheeks and our nasal area, we're going to resist and push down. So it's going to be like this. And we relax. As we come up, we're pull pulling down. Hold it a couple seconds. This relax. is awful. This Lift is torture. Up, pull down. A couple seconds. Relax. So as we're contracting those muscles, as we're do this. lifting our nasal area and our cheekbones up, we're pulling our nasal and the outside of our cheek, the inside of our cheek area here, this part around our nasal area, we're pulling it down like this. And we resist it for a couple seconds. You'll do 15 of those. The beautiful thing about these <laughs> exercises is that you do not have to go to the gym, nor go anywhere else. I would not you do that at the do gym. You can do them at any place. Can you imagine doing that at, at the gym, time. right? Like spend no. a few minutes <laughs> every day. Like you got some fucking Chad motherfucker over there. <sighs> you, know, you got like all these people like fucking jazzercising and shit, and you're all you're up against like the window or the mirror, you know, in front of everybody else while they're all trying to like do their stretches and shit. And you're like. <laughs> ah, yes dude i'm so stoked i'm so stoked if you can't do the whole thing just i did do it i did do it i didn't cop the fuck out i did it i did the whole fucking thing didn't i video's done don't hey listen you know what listen i'm the fucking professional here okay i'll be fucked i'll be fucked and 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 left in a in a pile of satisfied gooiness uh if if you get to tell me that that i didn't do it okay all right listen <clears throat> i don't know what any of that means <laughs> okay all right all right hang on hang on hang on doop 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 do. uh, hi I think this guy was a Spanish inquisitor in a past life. I think this guy was a Spanish inquisitor in a past life. That's pretty, yeah. I mean, the kind of tortures and shit. Let me, let me read these real quick, and then Memory's going to watch a video with you guys. One that you found, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll just sit, I'll just sit on the floor back away while I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and they can see you. That's cute. Um, Okay. Wife says, these people are shopping at grocery stores without wearing a mask. They're breathing out micro droplets of urine. Don't want to inhale their piss? Wear a mask. That's right. Yeah. They just... Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a really good way to try and encourage people to wear a mask, isn't it? Like, I, I know, because I wrote it. That's why it says wife. Oh, you wrote that. <laughs> wow, I was just about to be like, hey, wife, this person <laughs> named wife had a really good point. And she, but you know she's right though she is right <laughs> like uh, I, I have shown you guys so many videos of very attractive people who like to just wipe pee all over themselves so you can't think that it's just like a bunch of weird random people who are covered in pee pee 
There's the, the, the hot people cover themselves in piss all the time too. And they drink it. And they drink it. They do all sorts of weird shit with it. So if you don't want to like be be accidentally getting like their 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 pee juices on you, wear a fucking mask. <laughs> Uh, Elena Zariel, thank you for this fantastic evening. Uh, entertainment again. I almost missed it live. Won't happen again. I'm glad you're here. Noelle finally made it to a live. Love you and Mems. Thanks for the laughs. Tall Chemist says, Ouch, ouch, this exercise hurt so bad to give me a nosebleed. Oh no, buddy. Ha ha, at least the roundup can continue, and I'm going to have the sexiest nose in the world. I, I, you know, the, do- the, the, the jury's out. You might already have it. Uh, thank you again, Grim Dichotomy. Uh, one Halo Ninja, been years since I managed to, to a live stream. Hope all is amazing for you and yours. Face your size looks like what you do to the car behind in traffic. True. <laughs> and truly says, Jeff, I couldn't do all the exercises because I have my septum pierced. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Hey. Hey. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Memory doesn't exist anymore. Memory is a fiction. Memory is a fiction. She always was. <laughs> I'm not that thick, am I? Oh my god. I can hide a whole human behind me. What? I'm just saying. I know, I, I'm where you need to be. Okay, so uh, let's lower this down for you. Because you are you are we. Uh, and if it is... So when, you're, when you click play on it... Mm-hmm. Uh, when you click play on it with the the mouse, yep. uh, what you want to do is you will want to watch that. And if it's not getting, when the video is not getting up into the yellow, you want to twist this knob right here. That knob. Okay. That one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. He has to explain his setup to me every month. Well, I mean. I know. <laughs> Maybe I won't next time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Reiki. With Anna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't take this this woman's really nice smile seriously at all. For today's video, we are going to be doing a negativity removal. I have some tools here that I'm going to be using. And I'm also <laughs> going to be... <laughs> the chat is already saying exactly what I said when I first watched it. Thanks, I hate it. Some negativity away. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Please cease. We are going to be combing. Oh, the comb. Away. We're combing Just negativity away. Comb. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like the sound of that comb. It's kind of a nice sound. Don't do that. No, no, don't do that. Some other things. Cease. <laughs> now we're gonna be playing around with. I have my Moon Phases t shirt on. It's kind of like my pajama shirt. And I have my armor on. That's, that's a necklace. So we're just going to be plucking away any negativity. That's what? Why do they all have really nice vibes, teeth? You notice that? They all have really nice teeth. Negative, nagging thoughts. Any icky feelings. Icky. Just kind of doing a little We're getting bit rid of some of icky feelings, guys. Deep cleaning okay. <laughs> personal space so for this a lot of the stones that I'm going to be using 
<laughs> darker stone. You guys just missed the look Jeff gave me. It was amazing. This isn't going to be anything too serious. This isn't going to be a psychic surgery or cord cutting. It's or not like a that. psychic it's surgery. There's no cord cutting. Nothing like that. It's just going to be, what? you know, clearing, cleansing. Just clearing and cleansing. Life. So rather than using the selenites, I'm going to be using this black kyanite. That is a really nice a piece of black kyanite, I will admit. It kind of looks like a feather. Great stone Sounds like she says that black guy at night. No, kyanite. Energy. It's a stone. Okay. Your wife so kind of likes rocks. Just start out with doing okay. a little general aura cleanse here. Just see where we're at. See what it wants to come. We know so many people like this. It's kind of ridiculous. Move and flow. In real life? Yeah. Yeah, we do. It's feeling held or stuck. Ugh. I'm trying to fix my shit. Do you okay. want to fix my shit? Getting some stuff here. I'll, I'll fix the your bones. Throat yeah, yeah. Fix my shit. I have to go and break all your shit. Because I had to okay. pee. Down. A PP is a force of destruction. So clearing now. anything uh, that's not in service of your highest, most empowered and aligned your self. Your highest self. Your highest self. This one's gonna fall off. So I'm giving you another one across the. <clears throat> across the. Hey, that's the business. <laughs> Don't mess with the business. Why does it feel like our wedding day? But with you in the garter. Maybe some stuff in the root. All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right. Thank you, wife. I appreciate you. Right. It's a very good job. Memory holiday, everybody. It's clearing anything that's not serving your wisest self. Is that all of the Reiki ASMR? I mean, I, you know, like, you're the one who, who wanted to torment me with it. So. No, I think. <laughs> make, the poor chat is done. Yeah? yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. They're done. Yeah. Just pause it. All right. Cool. Dude, my pause game is great. Is it though? Yeah. That's good. She looks really pretty. She's very pretty. She's very gorgeous. She's very pretty. She's very crazy. She's but super. Pretty. Okay. She's pretty crazy. She's pretty crazy. She's. Thank you. Appreciate you. it. I love you. Memory holiday, everybody. Big round of applause. Thank you. Yes. Did you show off your flat pretzels? Uh, I didn't they're like. like pretzels that have gone, they're, they're like smushed. They're like two dimensional pretzels. It's really weird. Really weird. My left femur. I'll fix it in a second. Jesus Christ. Mmm. <laughs> there are pretzels that you can have. Mm hmm. They're over there on the table. Okay. My leg is broken. I know. I know. It's all masking tape. I knew it wasn't going to last that terribly long. Okay. <clears throat> so. If you think this is bad. You haven't seen anything yet. Performing a cleansing ritual. We're gonna have a cleansing ritual in which with this I egg. I will be inviting the negative energy from your vessel to this vessel. So all of our negative Trapping energy, it its all of our negative energy, is about to be pulled so, through the screen. What I'm going to do and put into this egg. Begin at the crown of your head. You guys ready? And work my way down. Look, I don't think you understand. We're all about to be cleansed right now. We're all going to be cleansed right now, okay? Body from head to toe. That's right. We're all so, going to get clean. Take a deep breath in. Mm-hmm. And exhale. Ah. Sorry, that's the leftovers from Dr. Mendel. It's upon your energy. 
energy field. Okay, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I feel like this is going to be very long and protracted. Why don't we skip ahead? Let's skip ahead to, like... Let's see where we're at, maybe, like, a few minutes in. That's a... That's an egg. It's the negative energy. Yeah. Begins to drain. You're not supposed to drain my... Hey, looks. You're not supposed to drain my negative energy into the egg. Uh, I'm no fap. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. It's uh, you know, fun time with ASMR and shit, dude. Whatever. <clears throat> okay, I love. This is a good shot, though. This is a great shot, actually. Fuck. This is pretty. This is pretty choice right here. Boink. Yep. Yep. Anyway. <clears throat> Hello, I'm back. I went to the bathroom and I feel really good now. Uh, I hope you guys are all feeling pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I uh, hope everybody's June has gone quite well. Mine has gone smashingly well, I have to be honest with you. Um, a lot of work, obviously. Uh, it's still the end of the world. It's still the apocalypse, all that good stuff. But I have to say, I have a rather positive attitude towards everything. A rather positive attitude towards everything. And I hope you can share that with me as well. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, Dreadwolf, the great old one Cthulhu, excused me for the event for I was painting his hand and face. That's okay. That's fair. You have to have at least an Elder God sign off. Otherwise, you have to do the Dr. Mendel uh, exercises. Rosie Rush says, Mems is like the cutest human. She is. And ReaderMan85, Mems, please give Jeff a tape third leg. I thought about doing that. I decided against it for various reasons. Um, I, I decided against quite a few different spicy things uh, that were going to happen in this stream today. But it is what it is. I had a great time on Passions. I have had a great time on Passions. Hey, so you know what? I might as well mention this here. Um, so one of the reasons why you should absolutely uh, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash realjeffholiday, is that every Saturday, starting around mid uh, midday, about noon, noon 30, me and my buddy Ian watch five episodes of the craziest soap opera ever made in the United States of America, Passions, which is basically like charmed meets days of our lives and me and ian two old gutter punks just get trashed and watch it every saturday we just goof off pacific standard time for for scheduling and we have a really good time not doing it this weekend because we're going to go camping but you should join us sometime it's a lot of fun all right anyway let's go let's do it well there was no shivambu well it's not a roundup if we don't have a little bit of hans hans worm hat more on the fursuits. <laughs> so my last video, I talked about how gorillas don't throw poop. And I still stand by that statement. I mean, gorillas aren't even real. So gorillas can't do anything. Only actors in fursuits can do something. And think back to just old time gorilla cages. It's an empty concrete platform with bars around the outside. And it's empty. There's no poop. The fursuits are always clean. Hans you notices never things see like a gorilla poop. pee. Well, they don't even have a penis to pee with. And so the reason I'm doing this video is just because technically, okay, sometimes the people in fursuits will have a little gag. They'll throwing poop is going to be a gag that they pull sometimes. I've also heard th things about vomiting, but you're watching a gag. Of course, if you're a deceiver and you want to make people believe, you're going to have a few cells. You're going to have a few things that, that you do to sell it. Okay. And they are actors. Go go research gorilla actors and how serious these people are about getting into character. Just think about actors and the you know, method acting and stuff. They're obsessed with getting into character. Gorilla so, actors. of course, somebody's going to say, well, monkeys throw poop, so we're going to do a gag where... You throw a poop or throw a animals poop. vomit and then they eat up their own vomit so we're gonna we're gonna have a gag where you pretend to vomit and you eat up your own vomit oh okay they're selling it with a gag but 99 percent of the time these people in fursuits are sitting there doing nothing especially the the chimps 
don't do like anything. Okay. And uh, they seriously just sit there. And th- for the gorillas, it's only, from what I can tell, it's only really the silverback that does all these ridiculous things. It's like the troop leader who gets to do all the gags and everybody else just kind of hangs out. And I mean, look at this, look at this wolf fursuit. It looked really good on camera too when it laid down on the bench. No, it doesn't look good they at all. Have the this doesn't look to real. Make really stinking good looking fursuits. Why does anybody even have this ability? This per- whoever made this suit, they probably make gorilla suits for a living. Fake poop prank. Look, they got the orange cone. Let you know it's a you're watching a Masonic production. <laughs> fake poop is just a big thing. What? There's so many fake poop pranks. These people are infantile. Fake poop is something you can buy at the store. Fake barf. America's Got Talent. Giant cat poops and throws up a hairball on the stage. This is when I was about to poop. Hey, it's a gag. I think often of the Ace Ventura thing where Ace Ventura comes out the fake rhino's butt. And here we go. These first... So... I don't suggest people go down the uh, into the cesspool that is furries and all that. But even the fact that these furry things exist, mascots exist. I've heard people say uh, of the uh, the wolf fursuit thing, that that's Adam from your movie sucks. Nah, Adam's a horse, man. 100%. Adam's a horse. Exist. I mean, look at the, the panda suit is a mascot suit. Anyways, this one, look, it's a fake. I didn't click on the video because it just looks disgusting, but... Yeah, that one... Look, hey, all love to my furry friends. All love to my furry homies. It's like my... My furry friends are just like my juggalo friends. Uh, I love you. Mad respect. Mad respect. But, um... I'm just not gonna... I'm I'm never gonna be comfortable going all the way with y'all, okay? That's all that's that's all there is to it, okay? I uh I'll be a tourist. I'll be a tourist to your 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 subculture. But uh I'm not staying for a while, okay? <laughs> Alright, thank you, Hans. I'm glad that we got a little bit of Hans Worm hat in uh this roundup. We always have to have at least a Hans Worm hat. Or a Dr. Mumby, which we don't have a Dr. Mumby this this uh, this month. Or a Jillian. I think those are like, are those the three? Chat, okay, you know, this is a good question. So chat, what are the mainstays that we, we absolutely have to have at least one of blank in order to be a successful roundup? What is it? So we are, obviously there's Hans Worm Hat, Dr. Mumby. I want to say Jillian too, but I mean, you know. What, what other ones? What other ones that you guys can think of? Like, what are the other wing nuts that are, like, they're key. They're key essential wing nuts. We have to have at least one, maybe two of them. Because you're the ones that, that are, like, coming back month after month, so. Uh, JoJo says, I'm a correctional officer, and this selection of wing nuts, especially Hans here, are crazier than my most nutty inmate. I believe it. Crazy priest guys, sure, sure. Exorcisms, uh, absolutely, yeah. Doctor, well, I mean, we always we. I think we've only gone without a Doctor Mandel one month since we discovered him. I think so. Maybe Young Pharaoh, maybe. Oh, fighter inside. We almost, I almost put a fighter inside video in. There was a pretty, there was a pretty good one, but you know what? Honestly, it wasn't wacky it wasn't like second half wacky it was like first half like that's weird and i already got full of those you know uh magma all right i'm gonna come clean it's me and the furry who lives in a gorilla cage pretending to poop so that humans can be fooled into thinking that gorillas are real sorry to tell you i knew it did i knew it i knew it you never fooled me you didn't fool me that's because I'm an expert, so, you know, whatever. It's fine. I'm not even mad. Anyway. <clears throat> Speaking about uh, exorcists. We might, we might skip ahead. I just realized that was super loud. We might skip ahead a little bit. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I torment you! 
What's your first name? Zena. Do you know what you were reacting to back there? No. It's the worst thing that's happened. So earlier today, uh, this oh. this green screen. Throughout the Americas, three major bloodthirsty. Shush. So uh, earlier today, when I was putting on this uh, this green screen green screen suit it had feet and the feet are all nylon and i slipped and i busted my foot and i sprained like the 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 bones and the tendons and shit inside of my fucking left foot here it hurts so fucking bad right now uh but that's also why i cut the fucking feet off these things you know so i actually have like a little bit of grip balls also by the way if you're a foot fetishist and you're watching the wingnut roundup right now Send me money. You now owe me. Okay? You now owe me. Just saying. Up above 20,000 feet. Mass burial sites of human sacrifice victims. Right. Slaughtered for the Incan gods. Okay. They had perfected human sacrifice to an extent never before or since on the face of the earth. And these demons are not liking what I'm saying. Old Incan demons, human sacrifice, bloodthirsty. <sighs> Going back hundreds of years, called up by that witch. Get it, Bob. Get her. Get her, Bob. Get her, Bob! Get the sword of the spirit! <laughs> Get her, Bob! Stab that bitch Look with the Bible! Spirit. Stab her! The blood of Christ is on you. I didn't mean to call her a bitch. I'm really sorry about that. She's Who probably a really nice lady. I'm calling that demon a bitch, though. Get that fucking demon, bitch! Who Stab her you? with the Bible, Bob! You can give me your name. Okay. What is your name? Okay. Have my okay. feet been... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Have my feet actually been on WikiFeet for a while? I haven't looked for my feet on WikiFeet. Fuck. Hang on. You know what? We're going to watch this while I look this up. I will fight with you. What? I will fight with you. You will fight with me? Yes. You really? You fight with me. You want to fight me? Yes. All right. All right. I put an Wiki angel feet. of the Lord on your left. Oh, man. On your right. In front of you. And behind you, Duck, eh? Bible? Yeah? The blood is between you and me. Oh, man. So is an angel. You got it. How many generations, Duck, eh? Look at me, Duck, eh? How many generations? Answer me! How many? Ten. Ten. Gina, come back. Come back. Come back. You know what? My feet are not on wiki feet. Hmm. Okay. okay. Look, I want to lead you in a break into this curse. All right? Say hi, Gina. I'm Gina. Renounce. I renounce. Going to the witch doctor. Going to the witch doctor. <laughs> and bringing that curse. And bringing that curse. On my family. On my family. <laughs> my mother. Look, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you guys, okay? Look. Look, <clears throat> I watched this whole video, and uh, just watch it. Just watch it. And also, by the way, no, my feet have not been made, uh, have not made it onto WikiFeet. That's where you come in. My mom. My father. My father. 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 And me. And me. I repent. I repent. Of this evil. <laughs> this evil. Look at me. Come on. Look at me, Jenna. I renounce it. I renounce it. Mm -hmm. It's under the blood. Is under the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ. I go back. I go back. Ten generations. The ten generations of human sacrifice. Human sacrifice. I break the curse. I break the curse of docking. A docking. The curse is broken. The curse is broken. I renounce all witchcraft. I renounce all witchcraft. You are judged, Docky. You are judged. Get up. Say hi, Docky. Say it. I duck it. I duck it. Say it clearly. I duck it. I duck it. Bind myself. Bind myself. To my kingdom. Uh, my kingdom. Of evil. Evil. God damn. Blood sacrifice. The blood sacrifice. I lift the curse. Say it. I lift the curse. 
Of the Incas. And all the blood. We have no right to this woman and future generations. Well, I just you came. You still pretty good. Yes. <laughs> uh, you didn't come here for an exorcism. No. You came to watch. I was telling my husband, oh, I will be the last person in the front to be this. Last person with a problem. Yeah, well, <laughs> guess what? With a new love for the sacrifice of Christ on the cross for your sins. I don't know if there's a God in heaven, but whatever it is up there, thank you for Bob Larson. Because fuck me dead, that was entertaining as shit. Damn. R.I.P. people's in, with a headset. I tried, man. I, I was trying to do my best to, like, fucking scale it and shit. But I'm working with, like, I think 24 different videos today. I mean, it just, forget, it just gets fucking nutty. <sighs> Isn't that nice? That's good. Look, it's, it's, okay. One of the really great, and also that awful sound I just made uh, one of the best parts about exorcism videos is that it always ends up being a happy ending okay right that's that's the best part that's the best part if you if you want to feel like the good guys win go watch exorcism videos on YouTube because nobody's gonna upload a video on YouTube of like we performed an exorcism and we failed that's never gonna happen you're never going to find that. You're never going to find that. Instead, you'll always find the good guys triumphing over evil. <laughs> so. <sighs> I'm just saying. <clears throat> Worried about having an eating disorder? I don't know, man. As long as I'm getting results, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm in such a good mood. I fucking, I, dude, I fucking love doing this show. This show's the shit. It's the best thing I've ever done. Um, Leopard Seal Lover Gaming. First round up live, watching from work. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Jail not here. I always knew I always knew DKNY was a demonic label. I knew it too. I mean, it's, you know, but you and I, we're clued in. We're tuned. We're tuned in, my friend. We're tuned in. Fuff Muff. Loving the stream so far. Keep it up. I'm doing my best, man. I'm doing my best, and I hope you stick around too. Kelly Montelius. Hey. Well, I tried to make a wiki feat for you. They apparently don't allow male feet. At least not the wiki feet I found, lol. That's bullshit! What? What What kind of sexist shit is that? What? My feet are fucking gorgeous. Okay? Okay? What kind of a fucking... I'm not gonna get mad. I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get mad. But it's about time. Don't you all think it's about time that we all move past these these bullshit sexist uh, I ideas, you know, where men can't have sexy feet, okay? Because my feet are fucking hot. Tony Dex says, just stepping, step, stopping in to send love. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a fucking madman. And Mickey the Figgy says, I got a real job, Daddy Jeff. No more temp jobs. Glad I made it to you today. I hope things are amazing for you and Mems. I hope things are amazing for you and your family, Mickey. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Hans says Jeff is a woman. Man, Hans can believe whatever the fuck he wants. You know what? It's time for a musical interlude. Fuck it. <clears throat> Here we go. My 
song as I ride along. I'm just a happy roving cowboy. Herding the dark clouds out of the sky, keeping the heavens blue. Yeah, hear my song as I ride along. I'm just a happy roving cowboy. Herding the dark clouds out of the sky, keeping the heavens blue. I've been shooting them planes up in the sky that's been spraying those dirty chemtrails. Let me make my bed where the vomits prowl, keeping the heavens blue. As I ride along, I'm just a happy roving cowboy. Herding the dark clouds out of the sky, keeping the heavens blue. I ain't got a dime, I'm just spending my time shooting them planes out of the sky. Let me sing my song till they call me home to the land beyond the blue hear my song as I ride along it's a I'm just a happy roving cowboy it's like a banger for the summer herding the dark clouds out of the sky and try to keep them heavens blue Very good. <laughs> what are we looking at? Uh, do, 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 do. I think we got about four left. Yeah, four left. About 40 minutes, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I have backups, too. If these other ones go way too fast. So I think we're actually in pretty good shape, all things considered. <clears throat> All right, let's do this shit. Hey, Kale Montelios. I tried months ago. They only allow celebrities, but that wasn't a problem because I think I found you on IMDb, with they, which they accept as a reference. So now it's just for them to allow men. Um, <laughs> the fact that I actually am on IMDb is incredibly stupid. And uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't agree. I don't think I am of, of note enough that I need to have an IMDb page. I'm sorry. It's very strange. Very, very weird. But uh, I also don't get to be in control of that. Unless I like pay for a pro account, which I'm not about to do. This is fun. Oh, this is fun. I'm very excited for this. I found this this morning right before we were about to go live. I watched like the first three minutes of it and I thought it was fucking hilarious. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Let's go. Hi there Whoa. and welcome. This is David Wilcock and I am here with Danny and Brinkley. Okay. And we are doing a YouTube exclusive on a very, very fascinating subject. None other than the rainbow body. The rainbow body is truly fascinating because supposedly 160,000 people have been able to transform their physical bodies into pure light, rainbow colored light. And wow. there are a series of practices that allow this to happen. Now this is very fascinating information that has never been studied anywhere near enough. And here to discuss it with me today is the legend, the classic, <laughs> Danny and Brinkley. So, Danny, and welcome to the show. Well, it's good to again to be back, David, <laughs> because this is important. In case nobody's ever up? heard of you, Danny, and um, God, good luck. Let's let's just go through the basics of that. You are a near-death experiencer. Could you just give us the quick elevator version of who you are and why you're here today? Sure. I mean, I am a near-death experiencer. I was struck by lightning, and is that like a signifier now for people like? <clears throat> I'm a firefighter. I'm a police officer. 
I'm a murderer. Those aren't related, by the way. Uh, I'm a near death life, near life death experiencer. That's kind of a mouthful, don't you think? 1970. Why didn't you just call yourself like a near deather? A near deather, right? Wouldn't that be better? Five oh. and was dead for 28 minutes. Took two years to learn to walk and feed myself. I had to have open heart surgery in 1989 from damage done by lightning. In 1997, I had to have brain surgery. It sucks, and dude. In 2018, I had to have open heart surgery. That sucks too, so bro. So I've experienced four of these events that we call the near death experience. Yeah. But what happened, what I'm describing is after oh. open heart surgery, they, uh, I had to be resuscitated when they got me to the intensive care, but Fuck. nothing happened. I was not aware of once they woke me, you know, mm -hmm. and they were, I was still uh, supposedly out. I'm not aware of being conscious outside of that time from the end of the operating op can i can i can i can i ask you a question though so like I'm, I'm asking you chat obviously i can't ask these guys because this is recorded in in the past uh two days ago um so if the whole idea of being able to elevate yourself into a tibetan rainbow body is that you have touched or skirted along with or maybe even flirted with 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 death with the death process and crossing over to the other side wouldn't this guy, this guy, Daniel Brinkley, wouldn't this guy uh, qualify? Has he not gotten close to death enough that he has not reached the Tibetan rainbow body? Like, I, that, what, I'm, what I'm curious about is, like, he's supposed to teach us about the Tibetan rainbow body, but where's his Tibetan rainbow body? You know what I mean? It's like somebody trying to be like, well, you know, the best way to get a Corvette is to do this, that, and the other thing, but they drive a Subaru, and you're like, but bro. Bro. Operation to uh, intensive care, because mm. then they had to resuscitate me, but I w was not aware. Okay, but five days after that, on a 2 o'clock on a Sunday morning, I went into cardiac yeah. arrest. Uh -huh. I came out of my body. I watched them resuscitate me. I could describe in details who it was, when they changed shifts, all of that. They brought me back. This is like an eight or nine minute experience. They bring me back. I probably stay four, maybe five minutes, and they lose me again. So here's another seven, eight minutes. And by then they had put these tape down things on my chest. And this guy in the background kept... I've been to those parties. It's usually electrical tape over your nipples. Wait, what? Saying, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah. And he kept saying it, and I'm standing outside of my body, watching them work on me, trying to figure out what he was ready for. Mm. Well, they don't put pedals on you anymore. They tape it to your chest, mm. and they push the button. Well, let me tell you something that's really mm. surprising about when they push that button. That's a serious rush, David. Okay. I believe that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this is the point that brings us to why I wanted to do this show I mean, I've never heard of the rainbow bodies as a description of an event that deals with transition, okay? But in this last, quote-unquote, near-death experience, which was a death experience because 17 months ago after cardiac arrest, <clears throat> after open-heart surgery, I went into cardiac arrest. and in the I remember it very well. Yeah, and in the course of that, this is what happened. And as I was trying to find language to describe what was happening to me while they were trying to recess. I'm bored. <clears throat> I mean, it's it's cute and it's interesting, but like ultimately this idea, this kind of like this kind of video uh, is to 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 try and like sell a type of ascension uh, ideology, right? Like like they, if you if you can get skirted, your your if you can get your your mental processes, your spiritual processes skirted a little bit more along the lines of the metaphysical, you can start to like break through into the other dimensional planes of blah 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 blah. Uh, but still, again, I think my point is actually pretty salient. I think it actually is. Uh, if this guy is supposed to be telling us about how to ascend and, and leave our bodies behind and instead attain something like the Tibetan rainbow body, uh, well, fuck, man. 
if I gotta suffer more than your ass did, maybe it ain't worth it. Does anybody ever ask these questions? Like, sure, you could become a rainbow uh, spirit dolphin, right? Like, <clears throat> hang on, let's 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 think about this for a second. All right, listen. So, uh, sure, uh, you 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 get close enough to death enough times that uh, your soul transmogrifies into this rainbow dolphin that cruises through the intergalactic cosmos. Uh, it, 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 it vibes between the rainbow tapestry of the different forms of the multiverse, this, this uh, flipper-like fucking uh, soul energy being that's just kind of like <coughs> through everything. Uh, cool. Like, <coughs> that sounds great. Fine. It sounds cool, I guess. Like, if I'm not, like, if I'm done with all my bullshit here on Earth and I gotta do something, I guess I would turn into a metaphysical fucking rainbow spirit dolphin and just kind of cack, 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 cack all throughout shit. But do I have to go through bypass surgery? Do I have to go through, like, extreme amounts of suffering and dying over and over again in order to attain it? It kind of sounds like a bag of shit to me. Doesn't really sound very fun. Is there, like, an easier way to do that? Could I just, like, grow old, you know, and, like, have grandchildren and then die and then turn into a rainbow dolphin spirit flipper? Can I do that? Like, I don't know. These guys, you know, their answers are always very confusing. They, it kind of pisses me off, you know? I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. I'm just, I'm just tossing out ideas, okay? <clears throat> Oh, God. Okay. Uh, where was I at last time? Oh, okay. Alexander Souza, love the way you put scientists where they belong in the laughing house. Mad evil genius, I haven't laughed in months until I saw your dance. <laughs> I'm glad. I hope I make you laugh, honestly. Yeah, honestly, out of out of all the shit that I do, out of all the dumb stuff that I do with the, the roundup, if you're, if you're getting a giggle out of it, I did my fucking job, okay? Mickey the Ficky, deather and experiencer are not words. Yes, I agree. I had somebody today, uh, somebody I like very much. Uh, they had a very uh, important, they had a very important uh, thing they wanted me to address, and I had to tell them uh, that the roundup isn't really the place for that, but that I would work with them in the future to to try and help them like bring about an awareness is something very important but today today is for us to have fun we can get mad but only if we're having fun while we're getting mad you know this is for us today is for us for me and for you for all of us to just have a really good fucking time because god knows or uh beelzebub or whatever the fuck is out there may, whatever if, even if there's nothing out there but oblivion knows that the world is dark enough without us finding ways in which to have a good time, you know? And uh, I think it's important. And I, I don't think we get a chance to, uh, to pay attention to it as much as we should. I want to grab... See, what I do near the end of the... Uh, near the end of the roundups is I'll have options for the videos that we watch at the end. Sexual act... Whoa! And I'll sometimes change it, like I'm going to do right now. I'm going to watch this one next. Versus actors, I guess I should... Yeah, actors, sorry. Okay. I mean, already you can see it's a tranny, right? Look at that uh, thing there, the Adam's apple. Whoa, out of control. Double pronged, like a real male Adam's apple. You even got the jaw and the brow bone and all that stuff. But we'll start out with some real basics. Adam's apple, not Eve's apple. Not Sandra's apple, not Bullock's, all right? Oh, it's in your face. It's going to poke somebody's eye out. Be careful. Put on some eye protection. You would be so lucky as to be able to catch the backwind scent off of the perfume coming off of a beautiful trans woman who would look like Sandra Bullock. You fucking scumbag. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Transvestigations are the most insecure bullshit ass fucking like i love watching them because they're so ridiculous they're so ridiculous but you know what i've been drinking a little bit 
I've been drinking a little bit. I got a little spicy. This guy's trying to talk some mad shit about trans people. You know what? Trans fucking rights. Black Lives Matter. Kiss my fucking ass from fuck you. Uh, but yeah, no. They, they, I want to hear what his rationale is for why Sandra Bullock looks like uh, what he thinks is a trans transsexual. <laughs> I mean, the good thing this is not in 3D. Maybe they'll come out with YouTube videos in 3D at some this dude, whoever the fuck Mr. E is, has never had sex with somebody half as attractive as Sandra Bullock. Whether Sandra Bullock is is biologically male or not, doesn't matter. Like, no. Motherfucker never has. At some point, that would be interesting to see these Adam's apples in 3D. But Who you cares? Can almost imagine Who gives a fuck? Me. All right, just the big skull, right? Now, I don't know Hugs why, from but... Rainbow Spirit Dolphins Against Oblivion. Yes! Hugs from Rainbow Spirit Dolphins Against Oblivion. Goddamn right, dude. 100%. You know, we're all... We're all on Lost at Sea. <laughs> Are you guys ready for me to try and, like, uh, drunkenly figure out a very poignant way to say something? Here, hang on a second. <clears throat> hang on. Hang on. We need... <clears throat> We need three ice cubes, okay? We need a slice of lime. Okay. Drop that in there. We're gonna need a little bit of the, the local, low-grade, heritage distilling state vodka. Just a little bit, not a lot. We've been fucking around for a bit. Doesn't have to be crazy, okay? Yep. Just wait. It'll be worth it. Hang on. All right. <clears throat> and a little bit of ginger ale. A little bit of ginger ale. Listen, okay? It's very simple. All right? <clears throat> we are all magical rainbow dolphins trying to surf our, way, surf our way through the oblivion. Every aspect of our lives is very much tooled to try and throw roadblocks in the way. And yet somehow we still overcome. And that's the true secret to life. That's the true secret to happiness. Life is nothing but pain and suffering and roadblocks and things trying to get in the way of you either getting that badass hookup or that really sweet sound system. It doesn't matter what it is. Your goals are really largely irrelevant. The goal is to overcome adversity. Uh, and that is why we have to just crest the waves as magical rainbow dolphins. <laughs> did I do a good job? I hope I did. I hope I did. Anyway. All right. We got to move on before I completely fall apart. All right. We got two more videos left. Actually, no. We got one more video left. One more video left for the roundup. One more. I should have made more Timmy's for the stream. No. Dude, that would have been a terrible idea. Are you kidding me? That would have been a terrible idea. Holy shit. Pain, suffering, and Roblox. Fucking A, dude. Dude. Shit. Why aren't you playing League of Legends with me? Holy shit. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to Revelation Unravel. Yes. I'm your host, William Tapley. Yes. Also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co-prophet of these end times. I'm so glad you're back, dude. Co-prophet means that I interpret... God's signs to us, usually through his prophets. But today I want to talk about a sign that he gave when he struck the Vatican with lightning. Maybe you remember this? It's a really an amazing photograph. And at the time I did quite a few videos pointing out that this was God's displeasure at the resignation of Pope Benedict. Even though God himself appointed the false prophet, that is Pope Francis, mm -hmm. just as he will appoint the Antichrist, according to Bible prophecy, nonetheless, he is not happy about having to do that. And he does that because mankind is a failure. We are trying to rule ourselves in these end times. And God is giving us many signs. And the sign that he gave in this image of a lightning striking the Vatican, it occurred exactly, I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to need you guys to like really hardcore focus on this video. This is my favorite video of the month. See this or not, exactly 5.55 p.m. This is the clock 
that was on the Vatican, and mm -hmm. the camera that caught the lightning strike yes. also showed that it occurred at 5.55 p.m. I think you can see that. I hope I, you can. Sure. Yeah, <clears throat> not bad. But, as I say, just this week, one of my uh, subscribers, Mary Galen, pointed out another amazing facet of this lightning strike. It shows two profiles, one on each side of the lightning strike. One is of Donald Trump, and the other is of Moses. Get out of here. God is telling us that Get Donald out of Trump here. is like Moses in these end times. No way. And I'm certainly not the first, or is Mary Galen or uh, Sister Renee, who interpreted the photograph also. We are not the first to say that uh, Donald Trump is like Moses. If you just do, do a Google, Google search of uh, a Google search, Donald yeah. Trump is like Moses, you'll find that people have written books on it. There have been videos posted. And today I'm going to show you that Almighty God himself says that Donald Trump is like Moses. So I'm, I'm going to show you what this image looks like of the lightning strike. And Shut I'm up. Going to, no way, 30 Glizzy. It's very Rock windy up here, so I have a lot of rocks. But Before we look at this, I just have to say, I'm so glad he's back to making like actual videos because when he just does his stupid ass live streams, they're so boring. They're so boring. It's very lame. I like it when he actually makes an, a good argument. So let's let's see, let's see what his Google search uh, brought up. The way in the background, you can start seeing some of the uh, beautiful farms here in Iowa. I'm going to do a series of videos, and in the background, I'm going to show uh, landscapes in Iowa, which is my new adopted home. In any event, uh, if you take the lightning strike, okay. And break it apart like this. Oh, wait, okay, right okay. There. I think you can see that there's a lightning strike there. And you break it apart like this. I think it's going to be easier for you to show the two images. Let me show you this first. Maybe you can see it by yourself. And this is the lightning strike. And on one side is an image of Donald Trump. You can see his chin. And you can see his nose, you can see his forehead, and you can see his double chin. He's a little overweight. The other side is a picture of, maybe you can see it, Moses. <laughs> Notice his chin. Notice his kind of smashed in nose. Let me show you that. He, uh, Break it down. Moses, Moses is uh, famously smashed in nose. Separated. This is right. M Moses is famously smashed in nose, uh, and Donald Trump's famously uh, double chin, of course. This is what it looks like when I have separated the lightning strike. And I think you can see that that is Donald Trump, an outline of our president. And no. The wind is picking up here because Satan does not want you to know this. Oh, no. Satan does not want you to know that Donald Trump <laughs> is prefigured back. by uh, this light in this lightning strike. <laughs> and take a look. Now, remember, this was this lightning struck. And the day that uh, Pope Benedict announced his resignation. <laughs> and I should leave this on the screen, I think, so you can, oh, you can see. Fuck. Maybe if I turn it a little bit, you get an idea, maybe, a better of what it looks like. Oh, and this was uh, February the uh, 2nd, no, February the 11th, 2013. Almost seven years ago, Pope Benedict resigned. In fact, a little over seven years ago. So seven years ago, there was a lightning strike, and that lightning strike shows you if you decide to take it, and 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 look, oh, fuck. <clears throat> okay, look. Here's the thing: if you take a lightning strike that happened seven years ago, it struck the Vatican, right? Uh, uh, around the time shortly that Pope Benedict had to get ousted, and they had to replace it with Pope whatever the fuck his name is. And then you take that lightning strike taken from that one fucking angle, that one very specific angle from that one fucking camera shot. Then you, then 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 you then you have uh, on one side uh, 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 Donald Trump, sort of. Uh, and it matches also up with Moses, who suspiciously there's no photograph of. Probably a deep state agenda. That's probably why. Uh, but what we think he thinks Moses looks like, uh, and, and it just kind of happens to naturally mesh together. Obviously, it's all designed. Uh, it's all designed by the glory of the fucking Lord. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Okay. 
No, fuck. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> this hurts. Okay, hang on. Alright. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the the third eagle video. I'm done with the third eagle video. I've got uh, I've got one last special surprise for you guys, but I have look, I'm gonna I have I have an option for you guys. I don't know how good it is. I don't know how good it is. It might be a bust, but you guys have already been hanging out with me now for like what, fucking two hours and forty minutes or so? And usually we go for about three hours. It's a it's a little bit shorter today. I had some other videos, but they all honestly were kind of shitty. But one of them is, I think, spicy. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Either we go for the, 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 the humdinger now, or we get one more video. If you want one more video, type out one more video in the chat, please. And then we'll, we'll, we'll go with this one more video. One more. Keep in mind, the whole time, I'm going to be, like, floating. I'm going to be needing to pee like a motherfucker. But I'll, I'll suffer through it, man. I'll suffer through it. Uh, you can see in my skeletal body uh, how bloated I'm becoming with urine. <laughs> the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> but it's up to you guys. One more video. Show more flesh. How can I have more flesh than this? How is there more flesh than this? How could that be possible? One more video. One more video. One more video. One more video. I might be mean. I might be mean, guys. I might be mean. I might get kind of mean. It's somebody that I'm usually mean with. I mean, if you're okay with mean, show more flesh. All right. Fucking God damn it. All right. Fine. Fine. You know what? All right, you filthy animals. All right. I love you guys so much. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy that we're hanging out. We're just being dorks. Because uh, next weekend, I'm going to be camping. So there's not going to be any passions. I'm not going to be streaming for a little bit. Uh, but when I come back, I'm going to finish uh, Cal Jam. So, yeah, I'm happy you guys are here. I'm really happy that we're getting this time to, to hang out. So I'm super stoked. Let's do this. <clears throat> hey, guys. I just wanted to let you know something. Oh. Ikea makes the best laundry bags. You ever go to Ikea? You save these bags, and they're like the best laundry bags ever. Just so you know, truth or tip for today, okay? Recycle, reuse, reuse Ikea laundry bags. Anyway. Hi. So today, happy Monday. M -m 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 hey, Verstein. Happy Monday. I'm in a good mood because I got a sufficient amount of sleep. I'm just saying. Good. All right. So, good for you. Um, sleep is important. I go into this gas station. I usually don't go to this particular gas station because there's another gas station where I go to and the people there are more conscious of what's going on. And I feel like, you know, it's outside of Travis County where Austin is. And I just, they're not cheap, basically. So so I go into this uh, one 7-Eleven. It was a gas station at 7-Eleven. And there's this guy, he's adorable. Like, he looks like my friend. He's, you know, he looks pretty, like he's a young guy. So, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get the young people to think. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, but, you were um, what? Oh. I go in, and there's this big plastic. I don't think I'd been there since this started. But they have this big like plastic partition that would can I, I i just want to pause this for a second though like verstein definitely is the kind of person who thinks that like wherever she goes she spreads truth so the idea that her going to this gas station and she's gonna like wake people up is not out of character for her okay as long as we understand like where what we're operating from and like what kind of what kind of business verstein is like trying to sell us on just so we know was hanging those little plastic slats that were hanging and they had four of them and probably to cover the whole thing the whole area you probably needed 15 of them but then there was also the space underneath sure and i'm talking to the guy about getting my gas and then he's like oh what what and then he's like oh yeah so i just duck under like this and i start talking to him like this so i can you know he can the sound can get through this bitch keeps looking at me because i'm not wearing a mask yeah bitch i'm not wearing a mask that's right Probably just a random lady looking at her car, and Verstein is like, Do you want to go? I'll fuck you up. Yeah, I'm not wearing a mask in my car. I, I just, I, I just, I, I, mm -mm. So, um, say something. Sorry. I wish, I, I wish, I've been waiting loud. for somebody to, to say that I'm irresponsible. I've just, I've just been wishing. It hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened. It's, it, it's, 
Anyway. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? If somebody randomly comes up and they're like, why aren't you wearing a mask? What are you going to do? You're going to make a big fucking scene and embarrass yourself? Just fucking put on a mask and just ignore it, dude. Just look, if if you, okay, and I know we're about to get back to Versteen real quick, but I'm going to make a big public service announcement. If, if you're uh, of the mind that maybe you don't believe in masks, okay, fine, fine. Here's a good, ex- a good excuse for why you should just wear one. If you don't wear one, people are going to hassle the fuck out of you. Do you want that? I don't. I want to go get my fucking groceries. I want to go buy my liquor and go home and get fucking wasted. That's what I fucking want. Just... Just put it on long enough so people don't fuck with you, and then then it's fine. And if they're right, you've helped. And if you're right, it doesn't matter. Just wear the fucking mask, okay? Put the fucking mask on. So I go in, I'm talking to a guy, and uh, he's like, yeah, you know, I hate having to talk through this thing. It's like, you know, it's hard because... And then I just went off and I was like, you know, these masks don't work. I'm like, think about it. I'm trying to, of course, the science is there that show these masks actually give you infections, that they deplete your oxygen, okay, that they don't prevent the spread of infection. Yep. But now for common folk, I'm just trying to get them to use common sense things, right? I talk about the homeless population and how they didn't do any of the sanitation, washing, social distancing, mask wearing and masks, and they are still alive. You know, and then <laughs> still alive. But what kind of quality of life do they? Have? <laughs> I'm sorry. I look. I Verstein is like the most unself aware motherfucker on the planet. I, uh, I, 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 I could rant for three hours about how terribly we treat homeless people in this country. But you know what? We're gonna stay positive. We're just gonna laugh at Verstein. It's okay. And of course, I'm telling him about like I, I'm a cardio, go to different hospitals. There's no big hospitals. I'm telling him that, you know, um, the scientists use hazmat suits to deal with deadly viruses, right? When they're dealing with them, but they think that you know these paper masks are going to like stop um, a, a deadly infection, alleged deadly infection. So he's like, yeah, you know, well, I don't believe in conspiracy theories. I was like, honey. Like this, it's called history. Do you think that conspiracy, conspirators just stop? Like they're like, oh, well, it's 2020. We don't do that anymore. That was way back in the day. No, conspiracies are everywhere all the time. So, I mean, when people say it really is like this. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. And that that's the thing that's like so insidious about the conspiratorial mind. Conspiracies are real. There are very real conspiracies out there. Like you can, you have there. There's a really good example, a very good contemporary example, uh, MK Ultra. All the way up until it was declassified, people were like MK Ultra is just a conspiracy theory, and they were right. It was a conspiracy theory until it was proven to be conspiracy fact, and it was proven real. Like it, like there things things that seem to be outlandish can be proven real. The key is not necessarily to say that any conspiracy theory that people have is ultimately, of course, not right. It's to say, it's to say that beautiful, beautiful razor, things, is it Hitchens razor? I think it's Hitchens razor. Things uh, proclaimed without evidence can be easily as dismissed without evidence or some shit like that. I don't remember what it is. Um... Uh, but uh, like you, you can't just say like conspiracy theories never bear fruit because sometimes they do but you also can't live your life by saying that anything that's a conspiracy obviously has the same weight and validity as as established in like regular science that's dumb this super dumb. trigger like when you say trump right people conspiracy theories they're just like oh like people say that word but they don't even really think to know what that word means they just say that oh like conspiracy no m- occam's no, people, is it occam's razor yeah, like when people get together and they plot to do something evil i i like i must have gotten uh, i've been drinking like all day what's uh which what's hitchens razor then isn't there a hitchens razor also with occam's occam's is no it's occam's you guys are right Wow, that's embarrassing. Occam's razor is things uh, proclaimed without evidence can be dismissed without that evidence. That's fair. What was Hitchens' thing? Hitchens had a thing too, didn't he? Yeah. Chat will, chat will, chat will admonish me and tell me I'm an idiot. 
You don't think that, do you think that just stopped happening? Like you don't think that it ever happens? That really it is. And the theory is that you theorize that maybe why a conspiracy is happening or how it happened, but actually it's conspiracy realism. Get my conspiracy realist shirts, truthertalk.com, shameless plug. Mm. Anyway. So I was, I was like, have you heard of the Bilderberg Group? Because he was just like, oh, well, it's happening all around the world. And I was like, well, have you heard of the Bilderberg Group? And I was just like, he was like, no. And I was telling him. Oh, no. Go no. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. No, absolutely not. What just happened? Stop. Oh, my God. Did that just fucking happen? <sighs> I was just about to look it up. Oh, my God. All right. We're done with first Dean's video. That's all there is to it. It's official. If I fumble that bad at the end of the roundup, yeah, Jeff fucked up. <laughs> you don't want anyone's razor? I'll use my own. Thank you. That's fair. That's Hitchens' razor. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hitchens' razor was uh, claims made without evidence can be dismissed without said evidence. And then Occam's razor. I thought Occam's razor. Occam's razor. <clears throat> Uh, ideas attributed to English, Francescan, blah, 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 blah. Am I going to actually look this thing up right now? Probably not. No, it's not important. It's not that big of a deal. We'll deal with it. I'm glad I just kind of like half-assedly sort of got the whole thing right. At least, uh, very embarrassedly though. Um, <laughs> before the internet says show more flesh. There's no more flesh to show, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Justin B says, take my money, you magnificent beast. I, I, I cannot uh, deny it because you put it through the right channels. BC Brandt, if face covering masks were deadly, medical personnel would have been dropping dead for decades, and Ralph Nader would have put an end to kids' Halloween masks. That's very true, and that is a really dated and hilarious fucking reference. It really honestly is. And I do want to say... Um, I, I, I definitely have, uh, starting at the beginning of this month, regardless of whether or not the CalGem video comes out at the beginning of the month or the middle of the month, uh, I will be putting out a video specifically about mass and oxygenation and hypoxia and all that fun-ass shit. I wanted to uh, include a few videos here in the roundup about that very specific topic, but I figured it would be better served not being in our little shitposting stream, but... Uh, made an actual like full-on video about i think it's more important uh ashento hey jeff i really dig your summer body appreciate it thank you so much thank you so much i worked so hard on it isn't it nice kelly montelia says no isn't occam's razor that the simplest solution is often correct yeah no i think you're right i think you're right yeah um and last but not least uh because as is tradition with the uh with the winged roundup <clears throat> we need a pig video and uh Here's a here's a dude uh, here's a dude taking a taking a bath with uh, taking a pa taking a bath with cow piss while like cow poops next to him. Yep. Yep. Well, you know, embrace tradition. It is what it is. Yep. All right, everybody. So that is it for the wing note roundup for June, twenty twenty. Fedos says Occam's razor is the hypothesis requiring fewest assumptions is preferred. I absolutely am now remembering specifically what it is, and I'm highly embarrassed. And uh, I'm glad this is going to be marked forever so my shame can last eternal. Um, <laughs> anyway, everybody, uh, thank you so much for joining with me today. Uh, I really do appreciate it, as always. I've had a really, really, really good time. Um, from my family to yours, I wish you the best. I wish you the absolute best. And I hope to see you here next month. Right here on the Wiener Roundup. Bye, everybody.
class and squeezing ass. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the tray boots and the deuce boots in my bubble boots. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack. Lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe inside. Kicks with 